folks win. Oh, 
I am starting to work on my I'm like, you know, on your Problematic. Dum bum bum. No, no, I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> but, but you said you said test Yeah, because we didn't hear you. So. Oh, no, it's fine. Well, either way, I need to turn the volume up. Uh,
Uh, well, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. This is one, you know, I know what I just said about me, but you know, this guy's sitting in the water. You know, this one I will just, you know, we're all trying to make sure that you not want to, how long you want to do it. But right here, oh, it's blue eyed silver zombie. I don't think that, a lot of them, uh, have we ever seen the Thunder Dragon? Thank <laughs> you. 
That's not gonna work because uh yeah, yeah take the top right here. Let's 
not hard. There we go. All right. Mm hmm. Genius. Turn this all. There we go.
There we go. <laughs> yeah.
Katsenzoha. Hmm.
we're going to find
Well, guys, we finally did it. Finally did it. Somehow. We did it, guys. I don't know how, but somehow. Yes. All right. Somehow we did it, guys. Reptilian Hydra of all cards out here in Yu-Gi-Oh! Actually won us a game, and we resolved its effect, and that was just... And we had exactly zero. Alright guys, this, this has been an awesome stream. And once again, we have proved that Venomenon Turbo is better than Pirelli. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Alright, well, we did it guys. <laughs> oh man. How did I win that duel, bro? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. Yes, dude. Oh man. Oh, that was awesome. Oh man. I, I literally have to clip that like right now. Oh my gummy Kai. <laughs> Oh, dude, that was flipping awesome, man. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. <laughs> Go to my, my stream here. Uh, right here. Oh, good. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, we got it, guys. And I just I just uh, named the clip uh, Pirelli loses to Venom's awesome Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel underdog match, dude. What a highlight, bro! What a stream highlight, man. <laughs> oh man, you know what? I'm gonna I'm probably gonna post this on my YouTube like right now, dude. I can't believe we just did. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me share this to uh, some sites here like Twitter and whatnot. Yeah, I think we're literally going to call it a stream, man. Like, wow. <laughs> oh, that was so awesome, man. <laughs> oh, that feels great. Well, well, I don't know if we're going to end stream, but at the very least, I'm going to I'm like like dude, nothing else I do th tonight is going to top that, right? So like whenever you get like something awesome like that happen, probably best just to 
you know, just to cut your losses, you know, what cash out, you know, tur turn it all, tur turn in all your poker chips or whatever. Like, dude, wow. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Oh, man. Um, Let's see. Okay, so let's go to here. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I'm I'm gonna like immediately post this on YouTube for you guys. So li literally, I'm gonna open a new window, my uh, uh, Firefox browser. All right. Like, wow, that was awesome. And um. Okay, and I'm gonna go here and upload. Again, it's a really short clip, so it really shouldn't take too long. Oh, right, as far as the editing, though. You didn't like the tags? Hey, I'll go ahead and do it here. I'll go ahead and do it here. So. Oh, did I take that out? Okay, okay. I noticed I still have this, but I was like, did I, did I take this? Soda? I mean, the soda. Yeah, did I take the soda back in the fridge? No, the milk. I was thinking of. The the milk. The milk that your stepdad went to the store and get to get never came back. Daddy. Kidding. Um, here. Mm, okay, it should be, yeah, just this first clip. All right. We've hit the upload button. Yeah, good, honestly. Man, earlier tonight. Well, like, and what's funny is, is it was an unintended nap. But I mean, the fact that I did, it's honestly pretty helpful. Um, let's just see one. What? Uh, oh, that's this right here. Okay, wait, is it? I don't know. Any, anyway, I need to check that one. That's odd. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh. Nice. Um, yeah, I, I I do have this. I'll just reuse the details from this. I remember this this stream. I was like, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Venom's getting renders quickly. 100% win rate. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's like as clickbait as a title as I can get. But, um, okay. So, like, the video's already uploaded. I just need to... So, let's see here. Yeah, there's the clip from Twitch. <laughs> I'm just gonna put in the description here a uh, recent highlight um, from my Twitch stream. Okay, I thought you guys would enjoy this one. There you go. Uh, sure. Let's leave a link to my Twitch channel too. Um, that. E slash Flynnmon. Oh, 14. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Um, And uh, everything I have in the description is about the Monster Type Festival. I'm going to say the Duelist Cup. Duelist Cup. Because that's what it is, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. And some of the stuff I left in the description still applies. Like, I always put, yeah, yeah, you get, um, because, yeah, you do get uh, points. Yeah. 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 <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, I, oh, I actually did have a link. Okay. Anyway, um, there we go. Yeah, yeah, I'll just leave it like that, and we can fix the rest, the rest later. Uh, for the title, oh, yeah, what did I, what did I title it here on Twitch? Because I still have it pulled up, the clip. Um, yeah, 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 Pirelli loses to Venom's awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel underdog match. I think that's a good title, honestly. It's like a good title for this VOD right here that I'm probably going to upload immediately after stream. 
Because that was awesome, bro. That was flipping awesome. Uh, let's see. There we go. Okay. So I posted that clip on my Twitter if you guys want to check. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious, man. That is hilarious. So, all right. <laughs> there we go. And then, um, yeah, I'll just uh, get Master Duel. For the title, I'll put Pirelli loses to Venoms. Yep. Okay, that that sounds good. Wait, did I spell Pirelli right? I'm not actually sure. So let me uh, Google. I've spelled it with two R's. I have two L's too. I don't know. Let me just Google here. Go to goggle.com. Put on my goggles. I think, you know, after this, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a quick uh, break uh, just to kind of, you know, calm down a bit. And then. Um, <laughs> yeah, I definitely uh, approved my move. Yeah, so it is two R's, one L. Okay. Two R's, one L. Two R's, one Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because obviously, I autocorrect just trying to fix it. But yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Okay, and then for the thumbnail. Um, oh, I guess let's... <laughs> yeah, um, maybe I will post the deck list. The deck list later. Uh, looks like for the thumbnail, we'll go with this one. Um. Yeah, and it, it's so awesome that we, you know what? I'm gonna put that in the in the description too. Uh, yeah, I can't believe we not only did we resolve and get the card draw from Hydra, but Hydra literally won us the game. I can't believe we, uh, Hydra, Hydra won us. I like because that was one of my like stream goals. It's like okay. Because you, you guys have been seeing what I've been doing with, like, Reptilian Lama and the Reptiles. You know, you just obviously use its effect. But, like, I've never both either summoned Hydra and got the card draw and, like, won. Like, that, and and they had exactly 2,100. Like, how much more clutch can you get? That was, that was like, the perfect, like, I don't know. But I'm gonna just going to put in the description here. I can't believe Hydra, or, no, let's spell it out, Reptilian Hydra. Hydra won us a game. <laughs> this was so much fun! Exclamation mark. Okay, there we go. There we go. I think that's good enough. So, um, yeah, that's a good enough description. Um, yes. Yeah, so, there we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> And then I linked a couple playlists as usual. So, all right. And, um, well, let's see these, some of these thumbnails. Let's see if I have the one where I'm just like laughing. Not quite. But, uh, I think, I think right here is good. Right here is good. Right here is good. Um, <laughs> I'm going to add this to a couple other playlists as well that I normally don't. But, yeah. <laughs> that was just so awesome, man. Um, yeah, there we go. And then, uh, <laughs> where's the one with funny, funny clips and that? You know what? Uh, let's just type it in, Josh. Silly. You silly goose. Yeah, there we go. Because <laughs> that, was, that was definitely a funny highlight for that deck to beat him. Like, man. All right. Um, oh, yeah, the tags. Um, I do actually have Venoms in here. Um, maybe I should put Underdog as a tag. That, that seems like a good tag. Underdog. Okay. And then uh, awesome, sure. Oh yeah, yeah, and here I don't know. Anyway, we'll do that. All right, allow all comments because you know I'm cool like that. I allow all comments. All right, next, and add an end screen. Sorry, I'm just like kind of describing what's on screen and not showing what's on screen. But you know, yeah. So you know, I you know, doxing is a thing. A very, you know, you have to be careful, man. And even like showing like my. Uh, yeah, my, like, basically my YouTube studio and behind the scenes and stuff, like, there's a little too much you can show behind the scenes, so, you know, you just gotta, I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> you know, hey, maybe you're, maybe you're a YouTuber yourself, you know what, maybe you're, I don't know, maybe you're just, like, you know, I mean, a lot of people who watch my streams are, like, teenagers, which, that's kind of weird to think about, but, um, yeah, maybe you're just, like, you know, like a young, you know, 14-year-old kid, like, 
Pokemon 14. No, no. But they, maybe you're like a 14 year old kid and you're just like kind of starting out. You're like, oh, yeah, this is fun. And yeah, let me just show everything. And they're like, oh, yeah, let me fill out this bank information on my. No, no. <laughs> like, seriously, dude. Like, yeah, it's. Uh, you got to be careful out here, man. And like, basically, that's the one thing about the Internet is once uh, they always say that, too. And it sounds like you're just like, eh, you, you know, oh, you know, once you take a photo, it's out there forever. And it's like, no, but it's actually like. Now that I'm into streaming more and streaming, it's just like, yeah, literally, once you say something on a VOD, like, like, imagine I went to a job interview, right? And then, like, so, like, you know, for, like, like I don't know, let's just say for the CEO of uh, Kroger's, let's just, no, no, not Kroger's, like, for the CEO of um, Plastic Tubing Emporium. Yeah, let's just go with that, Plastic Tubing Emporium. If that's a real business, I'm sorry. Anyway. So let's just say I have this interview and stuff, and then it, it daily like, I mean, you can pull up any anything from anywhere really if you know what you're doing on the internet. Like everything's archived, especially if you know anything about you know, yeah, if you know anything about computers, like, yeah, I mean, if you look hard enough, you can pull up any stream from like anybody, anytime, anywhere. It's it's easy, you know, if you just know what you're doing. You know, but anyway, like my point is like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I I mean, I know like we, we joke around and stuff and have a lot of fun here on stream, but like, yeah, at some point you, you just, you gotta, you gotta like reel it in because like someone can literally take something you say, like a joke or whatever, or, or this or that, or and just take it way out of context, you know, and try to like, I don't know, you know. I mean, we've we've all seen those Lifetime movies, right? Those Lifetime movies where, like, a questionable pick gets uh, posted. And it doesn't necessarily have to be one of, like, um, yeah, yeah. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Where just, like, an embarrassing pick goes viral. You know, like in a Lifetime movie or just any movie, really. And then, like, that's literally the plot of the movie is, like, whoa, dude, what the flippity flam just happened? like. Shit went to hell. It's you know you know I me. Mean? I think you guys know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, we got that premiering on YouTube now, and yeah, I think I'll just um, yeah, I don't think I want to end stream per se. You know what I will do? Um, let's just uh, huh? Let's pull up chess.com and maybe I'll go over here and uh, um. Yeah, anyway, let's, uh, oops, let's reboot here. Yeah, maybe I'll go over there, and I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. Well, first of all, like I said, I'm going to take a break, so, yeah, there's that. Um, okay. <laughs> that was so funny, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what, what up, Iga? No, 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 I wasn't going to end stream, no, um. Here, here, let me show you this clip I get. This is really funny, actually. Uh, let me... Where did I leave it? Which tab? Yeah, let me let me just show you this. I <laughs> oh, man. This is a duel that just happened a um, couple, couple seconds ago. But, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Okay, so there we go. Close that. Close that. Yeah, check this out. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh, hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yep. Hope you all are doing pretty good. And, uh, oh, no, a master duel. I don't know. Oh, there we go. But uh, yeah, yeah, you should check that one out. I got, I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> oh man, that's pretty cool. All right. Oh man. Mhm. Mm um. Yeah. Hope you both are doing. Um. Yeah. Pretty good. Um. Iga, were you just um were you just streaming or um 
you guys just come to hung, hang out and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to see what's going on with a little bit of video. Yep. Do, do, do. <laughs> uh, I guess let's just ask this because this is the thing uh, with either of you. Large amount of Duelist Cup. Nice. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking the same. Um, I, I We got like, you know, however many rewards from the previous two hours. And like, really what I just thought is like, nothing's going to top the highlight I just posted. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, we basically... Um, what? Oh, shoot. What in the world? Oh. Well, oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry to hear that, Iga. Whoa. Um. Well, oh, all right. Hmm. I'm sorry, Iga. Yeah, I'm, I missed that. I missed that for sure. I'm very sorry. But yeah, yeah, I hope you're all right. Um, but just, uh, um, yeah, just, just let, let, it, let me know if you need anything. You know, so, um, yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, whoops. Um, I need to check, yeah, your server more often, I guess, like for sure. Um, so there we go. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I don't know. New flu or something. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. But uh, yeah, hope you, yeah, hope you get to feeling better soon. And all right, you know, ready. Um, go here. Um, <laughs> uh, I guess I can show you guys the deck I ran tonight. Uh, you guys ready? <laughs> This this uh this abomination of a masterpiece is what I like to call uh Cash Tier of Venom. So uh quick thoughts on uh PAK's take on the current format. Um format of Master Duel or format of PCG. Do 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 because if it's Master Duel I've gotten my opinions. And they're all pretty good. So. Uh, but yeah, this is the deck. Um, yeah, guys, if you can be believe it. Uh, <laughs> um, no, but uh, the TCG, yeah, I don't follow that. So I don't have an opinion on the TCG format uh, there, sir. But. Um, Wait, what? But, um... So, Master Duel, right? Um... Yeah, the Master Duel. What's my opinion on the Master Duel format? Hmm? I think it's pretty good, like, honestly. Um... Yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, there's Pirelli, and there's... I guess Pirelli takes a while, but... I mean, at this point, I think everybody gets what's going on with the deck. So, <laughs> are you ready? Yeah, we weren't ready for sixty card reptile. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, what's the main combo of the deck? Uh, how does it work? Well, first of all, it works with anti synergy, and uh, no, no. Basically, all you do is um, yeah, you use a uh, snake rain. Hope you draw snake rain. Do Ogdo Ogdoatic combos, and then um, yeah, climb into Zeus and win. No, no, but seriously, <laughs> like that's the main combo is just like get into King, uh, with Nunu, this and Snake Rain, and then you just kind of, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you just kind of go from there. Yeah, yeah. Is this is this a royal? I don't know, but uh, yeah. Also, also, just keep in mind, like you're you're running Venoms, 
So if you've got like, for example, keep in mind, if you've got the cash engine online, you know, a rice heart's going to banish everything. So wait till they like, you know, inevitably get rid of your rice heart or negate your rice heart. Like if they start your turn, right? And in perm, you're a rice heart. Well, then you're free to snake ring. And yeah, you can just snowball from there. You can send like, like Night Sword Serpent, bring that back. You can send this, which I actually used the last duel to get a lot of recurring advantage. So that was kind of nice. And you can send, um, yeah, any, like, you can even start with Nunu and then just start bringing back Nunu for other stuff. So, yeah, pretty good. So, um, everything else is just in here. Just, uh, you know, we got some floodgates, like floodgate. This is in here for lore reasons. <laughs> like, <laughs> and, um, yeah, this is, uh, yeah. And then this is in here because I hate branded. So, okay. All right. Well, <laughs> glad we got that cleared up. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah yeah i guess we'll just uh we'll just get out here and see what happens man but uh yeah good to see you all um yeah pretty cool pretty cool <laughs> yeah 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 this deck isn't um i should say like this deck isn't intended to win this deck is intended to just say oh hey we get we get gems no matter what so why not have a little fun? You know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, buy some of the, wait, what? What I go? Buy some of the rarity collection. Um, oh, TCG. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. In the TCG. Hmm, that honestly sounds like, yeah, and so, as I'm sure you guys all know, right, um, you know, if you're here in America, well, I guess it, it applies everywhere, but, uh, oh, I gotta reboot, but, um, yeah, so, um, and this happens every year, right, <laughs> right around this time, right around, like, a week before Halloween, I'll just kind of say to myself, hey, man, you know, start saving some money, like, it, it's, it's like a mental thing, because, uh, yeah, as I'm sure you guys know, like, Black Friday, like, we'll blink, right, and Black Friday will be here. You know, uh, the uh, the the big shopping deals, like, right after Thanksgiving, which is around, like, November 24th or whatever. Anyway, so, yeah, I actually do have a little extra money set aside, and, you know, of course, the, the, the main things are just like, oh, man, are you going to finally get a mic? Well, yeah, <laughs> it's just like, you know, I thought about, get, I actually have the money for one. But I just thought I was like, well, why not just wait till Black Friday? <laughs> no, like literally, because if I do, I can probably get like a mic and also, you know, I don't know, other stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes, sir. I mean, like, seriously, like, yeah, in fact, I could probably get two mics or three. If I just 30 days or whatever. Um. But that being said, I guess I'll look out for some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff and maybe we'll, I'll probably have enough by the time Black Friday gets here to have at least like, maybe we will, maybe we'll like buy the set I got suggested and we'll just have like one unboxing stream and just like literally just for kicks, you know, <laughs> and we could talk about, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then we can just talk about whatever, you know, I, I don't know, would you get? I don't know if you guys would be interested in an unboxing stream, but I'm probably going to do it anyway. <laughs> but I, what I'll do is I'll just like, you see how we have like three or four people in chat now? I'll probably just wait till like, I don't know, people show up. I'll, I'll go ahead and buy the box, but I'll wait till we at least have like, I don't know, four to five people in chat. So, yeah, I think that's a good idea. And then we can get we can show off some shinies, like I just said, because like that's the thing is like if I am gonna well not if when I buy Yu Gi Oh cards because I buy them all the time. I mean that's pretty pretty obvious, but uh <laughs> um yeah when I buy Yu Gi Oh cards, I kind of realized this myself mm, about like two days ago. 
I was like, yeah, because I did, I did open some stuff off stream, and I was just like, I just thought to myself, like, why didn't I just, why didn't I just open that on stream? <laughs> you know, it's just like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's just, you know, for me, it's just so automatic. Um, that, yeah, I didn't even think about it. Anyway, turn one, uh, so we have floodgate, that's good. We have another floodgate, kind of, and not much going on here. Um, yeah, so we've just got to hope they've got nothing. But, uh, if they've got ash, yeah, that's kind of a problem. Anyway. Let's see what our opponent is playing today. Let's see. I'm going to guess uh, branded. That would be pretty pretty good right here. Draw phase. Scapegoat. <laughs> Look at that thing. All right, what you got, person? Uh, that's, uh, yep. <laughs> well, we'll at least get credit for playing a trap. And with that, we just sit back and talk about regular stuff. So, yeah. <clears throat> All we're going to get is some uh, points or whatever in this one. Or like credit toward uh, playing traps. But that's a shame. Numeron. Wait, really? Is it Numeron? Let's see. Oh, you know, it's funny. I think I have. Um, huh, maybe we should run Numeron. Nah, it's too easy. It's just boring, really. <laughs> yeah, like. Numeron's just so boring. Like, don't get me wrong. It's yeah. If you guys have Numeron, you should probably run it in the festival because it's so consistent. But it's just, it's such boring content. <laughs> uh, are we getting DoorDash later? Um, did you send me? Do Do I have like Stream Eats on my? I don't think I have it linked. But that does bring up. Thank you, sir. That actually brings up a good. No, I don't. Am I? Well, actually, I need to ask my sister. She's a, she's usually the DoorDash provider. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, in terms of content, like, yeah. I don't know about that. Stream Eats. Yeah, we could link some stuff. Um, uh, doesn't really matter what we grab here, so. Yeah. All right, and let's just show them what we were playing. Let's show them the greatness of phenomenon of... They even had Dark Hole. <laughs> yeah, their hand was pretty good here, not gonna lie. Dark Hole, Duster. Pretty sure they just had this in hand. Yeah, it was pretty good hand. Pretty good. <laughs> Alright. Oh no, they had Planet Pathfinder, right? Nah, well, whatever. I'm sure they had some other ways to search it if uh that wasn't it. <clears throat> anyway, let's see if we can find a real duel. You know, it's so funny. Out of all the OTKs out there, I think Numeron's my favorite. Because, like, a lot of Numeron players, if they brick, they'll scoop. <laughs> like, they would just straight up tell you, okay, I'm playing Numeron. I scooped. And that's uh, that's kind of nice. Also, it doesn't take too long. Yeah. It's uh, it's like over quick. Scareclaws. <laughs> <laughs> Scare call TK. <laughs> All right. Ooh, Mallet Exodia. Exodia! It's not possible. No one's ever been able to summon him. Oh no, there's no extra deck over here. Uh, I don't like being touched by people who don't have money. All right. Uh, what is this? Couple of aces. <laughs> Look at those couple of faces. Oh no. It looks like I, Kaiba, have defeated Explodia. Airclaw is so fun. I just <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I should look into Scareclaw. Uh, well, cause um, I guess that's my question um to you guys, cause I haven't played. So Cash Tier is Scareclaw, right? Does it actually? Well, I guess it's an extra free summon. Well, that can't be bad, right? Like, that helps the deck, right? But, like, I guess it provides some negation, too. I'm thinking just about the wording on, uh... Yeah, doesn't Cash Tier Scareclaw provide 
like attack negation, which c- kind of comes up, honestly. Um, oh, I have a cool replay if you want to see. Um, sure. Um, what's your code? Do 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 do. And I'll just, uh, we'll be nice. We'll just immediately surrender here. And we'll show a replay. Cool replay. Okay. Yeah, that way I can kind of see how Scareclaw, uh, how the OTK works. Because really, I'm kind of curious myself. Okay. All right. Oh, hi. Not a problem. What's going on here? Well, alrighty, and I will hit here, and we'll hit here, and I'll hit, because it's right here, right? Yeah, we got another mission. What did we get? Um, Duel and Duelist Cup, sweet. So, yeah, yeah, and we I knew we were close on the trap card, so, yeah, even duels that are quick, like that Numeron one, I mean, it's still adding to this, so... That's good. And we only need five more wins. So, yeah, pretty manageable. And this is the one we've really been working on. Yeah, Duel and Duelist Cup. And Duelist Cup. Like, yeah, almost three. So, this is the one. This is probably the one that's going to take you the most time. So, but, uh, okay. We get the code. So, click there. Let's back up. Let's go here. I will get ready to do some play-by-play -play commentary. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's see. We'll enter. Uh, Auto mod doesn't like my. Oh. What? Um. No. You seem fine to me. Oh hi. Um. I guess like I'm not sure what you're trying to say. But maybe I should look at, um, oh, you're saying, oh, the person, yeah, evilly locked you. Okay, yeah, 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 gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, that, uh, that, uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, yeah, right, but, I mean, that's like, I mean, that, that, that's fine. <laughs> um, 583, right, here we go, here we go. Five eight three double oh eight three four three. Okay. Um wait a sec, so I go here, the plus. I'm starting to get the hang of this guys. We go plus. Alright. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Then we go here. And we put that in. We go here. Is it the first uh oh for kind of nice. Is it the first um replay or um, is it a different one? Okay, so we follow. All right, because we're cool like that. Yeah, the first one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I, I have learned to ask because sometimes it's like, oh, it's the third one. Boom, 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 boom. All right, first one. So this is a duel. Uh, I'm guessing it's Scareclaw. Well, either way, an Ebly lock happened, and I guess let's see if it was broken. Was the Ebly lock broken and how? So here we go. All right. We enter. All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Lots of ways the Ebly lock can happen. Um, so let's see how they set it up. And here we go. Scareclaw versus Sprite Evil Twin. Round one. Test your might. Test your might. Mortal Kombat! Okay, no, seriously, though. Okay, so they start with Live Twin Sunny Snitch. Now, that's a pretty good card. Basically lets you do whatever yabba dabba you do. So, yeah, anyway, they go to Live Twin Combo. Live Twin Combo. Kill the kill. Ba ba bum. Gigantic Sprite. And from Gigantic Sprite, they will grab. Eblaze, so pretty straightforward what they're trying to do. Um, if you can stop that, stop that. If not, well, you know, 
Yep, them's the breaks. Okay, so there goes Ebly, and then they go Sprite Elf. Uh, yeah, more um, uh, live twin yabba dabba do. They yabba dabba do the yabba dabba do, and then they draw a card, and then they go into this one, and then they Sprite Elf revive Carrot because uh, Carrot is always live. And wait, that's it. Um, hmm, could they have wait? Don't evil tw or live twins have a link four? Sunny, Trouble, Snitch? Well, I guess they didn't want to get rid of the elf. So, that's, uh... Okay, I, I get it. I learned about a bit about Live Twin here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, uh, this card, which is banned in the TCG... I'm... Uh, guys, is this card at three in Master Duel? I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Master Duel is like... Okay, so, sir... Yes, 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 sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. So, uh, Master Duel, if you don't know, is like the Wild Wild West. And, um, yeah, even like, uh, what's another card that probably should be banned? Like, you know, Grass? Grass is at one. Uh, what else should be banned? I mean, I mean, there's just a ton of, well, anyway, anyway, there's a ton of, uh, there's a, Max C is at three. Yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> All right, so we're moving on here. Uh, yep, getting ooh the adventurer engine. So yeah, Kit Kalos, right? Yeah, Colossus. Yeah, it is legal too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you just yeah attack into it, and then yeah, here we go. Fenrir, grabbing Scareclaw. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So, E X Pirelli happiness. Hmm, interesting. Let's let's read this card because I actually don't. Uh. During your main phase, you can detach a material, and if you do negate the oh, <laughs> okay, uh, you can if you do negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls, your opponent cannot activate cards or response in in response to this effect's activation. Wow! Oh, if it has a level one Pirelli now, but they have carrots, so um, how does this work? I don't know. But uh, let's see what happens next. So, right, they they just sprite elf. Okay, and then um, yeah, that was a mistake. Like that was a mis. Wasn't that a misplay? Wait, can carrot negate monster effects or no? Or am I just uh, carrot when your opponent activates a spell trap or an effect? Um. Uh... Yeah, why didn't they care at that? They... Oh! Oh, Carrot is spells. Oh. For some reason, I thought Carrot was an Omni. I always... Well, let me put it to you this way. Whenever I face a Sprite... Yeah, I wanted to make sure they can't... It's smart. That is smart, oh hi. That is... Huh. Okay, I, I got you, I got you. Okay, okay. So we're good. All right. Now they go into Lightheart. All right. Lightheart to grab the field spill. All right. Grab the right cart. Thought their face down was in perm and to stop the. Hey, honestly, Ohai, that's that's pretty smart. I mean, it's always best to like play for the you know worst case scenario. So, and honestly, I don't blame you because <laughs> like that's exactly probably how I would have played it. So anyway. Uh, yep, uh, arrival for Cash Terror Scareclaw. We've got Cross Out, Designator Face Down, as well as Straddle. Yeah, because, like, even Straddle's new, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so they, they basically, uh, uh, reset Elf by... <laughs> okay, anyway, they got out Sprite Blue. All right, all right. Oh, and I kind of see where this is going. Okay, so, obviously, we've got the Meteor in hand, and, uh, yeah... But uh, they, <laughs> yeah, it's just like at this, like, yeah. So they discard and, um, try to change that. Okay, I'm guessing this is, wait a second, wait, 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 wait. Live Twins have a tribute monster? I don't mind. Can I be normal summon? Oh, it's a BLS monster. Look at this. A rock in a tree. <laughs> Uh, if this card special summon, you can activate. Oh, yeah. So they control two, dude. 
No live twin player I've ever met plays this card. What? I guess it does have a hefty cost. You know, tributing two Link Monsters, that is pretty, uh... <laughs> well, what am I saying? It's 2023. That's like high, easy. That's like super easy. But, uh, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, well, anyway. Sorry, guys, I just that just shocked the ever-living you-know-what out of me, so... And I think it's so broken. Oh, yeah, this face down? Yeah. Straddle? Yeah. As far as for reasons concerned. <laughs> All right. And then they get the big token. So we sent in the Meteor. So this card, Straddle, is actually pretty good. So we're going to see what Ohai's talking about here because they get the field spell. Yeah, I'm used to this part of the combo. Okay, get the right card. Okay. All right. Right cart, uh huh. Get the arrival, so the fun has arrived. Yeah, all right. Get the adventurer engine too. All right. Try hard. Yep, makes sense. Then you get to add. Ah, uh, uh, hey, I, I, not, I don't blame you. Can't, can't, don't want to lose the timer. Okay, so you activate arrival to grab scareclaw. That's good. Okay, so here's straddle. So. Straddle, uh, target a Scareclaw or one Visa Starfoss. Oh, your monster gains attack. Oh, oh, smart, smart. Oh, <laughs> that's so smart. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Straddle will just okay because you dropped the nib on him, so it gains 6,300 uh, defense or attack or whichever one's higher. So that's uh that's quite the attack boost here to Tryheart. So <laughs> wow, <laughs> okay, yeah, and then uh, yeah, and then you can attack twice. So <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's so funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because I hadn't even that that was a great replay. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, cause um, uh, replay on that one, uh, ten out of ten. You know, no, actually, who am I kidding? I I hate sprite. I hate sprite so much. I'm gonna say like, well played. Um, fifteen out of ten. You know, <laughs> that was fantastic, actually. So, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, that was cool. Um. <laughs> Oh man, and even if it was an effect monster, it was attacking. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, see, that's the nice part about what I, Ohai said is that, um, yeah, uh, uh, Scareclaw. Um, well, let's just let's just put it in here so you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, Scareclaw will negate. Um, and I'm just saying this for anybody who doesn't know. But, uh, yeah, this card, yeah, will negate basically any, yeah. Yeah, if, right here, if your Cash Tira or Scareclaw monster battles, that, yeah, are, are negated until the end of the turn. So, don't let someone play Time Lords. <laughs> well, I can't imagine playing Time Lords in this format. This is really, um, this is the wrong format to do that. I mean, and really, Time Lords only get worse and worse. As time, eh, eh, see what I, see what I did there. As time goes on, because there's just so much um, effect negation, just kind of walking around, <laughs> and like the game is only going to get more and more monster effect negation. So, unless they like retrain Time Lords to say, "Oh yeah, we're unaffected by effect negation too," which I think would be a little too strong, but yeah, unless they like, I don't know, Time Lords need like a hand trap that's like in the hand that that reads the following. Okay, so here's here's a card that Time Lords need. Okay, if you know, yeah, if your Time Lord is targeted for an effect, you know, reveal this card in your hand, negate that effect, and then until the end of your turn, your Time Lords cannot have their effects negated. Also, this is this effect is spell speed four. You 
<laughs> you know what I mean? And you literally, you write spell speed four for the first time on a card, and you just say, yeah, what are you going to do about it? So that's what Time Lords need. Um, so speaking of format, I think uh, somebody asked me a question about the format. The current format for Master Duel, what do I think of it? Um, well, hang on. You guys got some questions. But, uh, whoa. Ooh. Ooh, okay. <laughs> for real. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna, if if I build Scareclaw or when I build Scareclaw, um, like I can see why the uh, Scareclaw OTK is um, yeah, because that that quick play for the Scareclaw, the new one, that's such a big attack boost, and you know kaiju's are a thing, so you could always like give your opponent a 3300 attack point kaiju. And then take its point. It's, I don't know. Seems pretty good to me. <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good as well. All right. This hand looks familiar. Wow, we're getting really lucky with the uh, the summon limit here. Wow. Um, let's see here. So let me. Mm, okay. What we'll do here is pretty simple. Let's start with Finri here and go from there. Well, okay. Sorry, this was like lagging for a second. Um, attack mode. We've basically got a pretty good hand here with Theosis and stuff. If uh all right, all right, sir. Um I recommend um I don't know <laughs> what all can you get in DoorDash? I don't know, McDonald's? McDonald's sounds good. McDonald's. <laughs> the reptiles cannot be stopped. Yeah, see guys, I'm playing Venoms. Look, Venom Serpents in my hand. I'm totally playing Venoms. And not anything else. Um, yeah, let's grab good old uh, this. Yeah. All right. Um, then we theosize. Hmm. Um, what do I grab with this? I forgot. Uh, anyway, we target this, and let's grab. I'm thinking ogre. One snake rain and a cash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, see see you get it. You get it. Yep. Yep. Mhm. Mm yep. Totally. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm playing the one of Venomonaga. I'm totally I'm totally playing Venoms here. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it, it's it's nice to be understood by like fellow duelists, you know, you know. <laughs> no, but it, it's just funny how many people see like one cash card and then they scoop. So and here in the duelist cup, so that's the real reason we're running like a cash engine. It's just, uh, I mean, if they're gonna give us easy wins, then you know. All right, and let's throw out the bait. Okay, I will play some reptiles here though. You know what? I'll summon Venom Serpent. You know, mainly because we have damage equals reptile here, so. All right. And we'll end the turn. All right. All right, now, I got posted a link earlier. Uh, what was that all about? Let's see here. Let me set up the Shangri-Era. And then during their turn, I'm going to read some chat stuff. Some chat stuff that I probably missed. Uh, Ida. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's, um... Do that. Uh, probably just grab the other unicorn on my alt account. I think I'm in go. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, so that's just like, yeah. If people are gonna scoop to it, then 
Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll grab Finrear here. Yeah, sure. Let's... Finrear's not negation, but it's kind of convenient. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just flip this just so they know. There you go, buddy. Damage equals reptile. All right. I, maybe I should pay attention here. See if I can summon limit lock them. Uh, what's nice is we've only summoned once a turn. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? Oh, hi. Like, uh oh, evenly matched. Okay. <laughs> Let's just fire this and get the credit. <laughs> you know what's funny is the one card I'm probably going to leave is going to be a uh, summon limit. So, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's pretty that's pretty funny actually. <clears throat> All right, so there's the evenly. All right, so we'll banish this. This. All right, guys, I tried. You see, we tried to play Venoms. Just my Venoms got banished. I made the account to pull. That's honestly pretty smart, yeah. Um, On my alt, I'm running um a Scareclaw. And, um, well, I'm trying to build a Pirelli. <laughs> so, yeah. So there's Ecclesia. So it's Sword Soul, that's inch or no, there's probably Fallen of Albaz, yeah. What am I talking about? It is branded. Well, what do you know? Another branded player. I never thought I'd see this happen, chat. Oh my. What interactive and fun gameplay. Sorry. <laughs> it's not that I hate branded. I actually I actually like branded as a deck. Oh, it is Sword Soul, okay. But like, yeah. <laughs> It's just so, you know, yeah, it's just so common to see that it's kind of, you know, you can't help but dunk on it. Uh, anyway, let's go here. <laughs> All right, they set one pass. Um, Let's see what I have here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I don't even remember what rank we are here. I think we're like really low. Brand is really cool, but my thing is how. Uh, yeah, yeah. See, see, that's my thing. Oh hi, is like I've seen the combo just countless times. Uh oh. Okay, I guess said. Did you see that cool new Imperm Solemn? Wait, what? Oh. Hmm. After this duel, I'll definitely click on that link. I get. No, I did not. Wow. That seems pretty cool. All right. That is, uh, wow. Um, hmm. Okay. Early branded. Yeah, yeah. I actually like early branded. It's just, um, I hate how early branded, uh, re branded. Eh, eh, eh. They re branded. Eh. The Pfeiffer package with the old. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's kind of nice. Oh, no. Magical cylinders. Hmm. All right. Do 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 do. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm 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 a bit cheesy. You know. Uh, don't 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 mind me. I just uh, you know. All right. I guess you can run run uh like sword soul with burn. It's a pretty interesting strategy because like Chiaksha and um. <laughs> it had to be done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, Chiaxiao and um aren't there other cards that just oh oh what what happened? Did uh you know McDonald's closes at 1 a.m. I guess the uh they shut off the Wi-Fi. Hmm. Huh? Time to order some DoorDash, sir. <laughs> Good thing you live on the uh California coast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that McDonald's is still open, so all right, well, <laughs> another game won by Summon Limit. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, there we go. Okay. Huh. All right, let's check out this, um, you know, let's check out this thing that, uh, Iga was talking about like an imperm solemn. That's uh pretty. Also, my my frame ranks are tanking right now. I suppose you could. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess you could. Yeah, and it doesn't um because there's the one in hand. It's strategist? Is it a strategist, I think? Yeah, it's strategist that uh whenever you use it for a synchro shokun, you burn for twelve. Yeah, that uh Huh. I might uh <laughs> All right, I guess. I'm I'm game. Let's take a look. Oh, we get a hundred gems. Nice. And we're level thirteen. So that feels pretty good. All right. All right. Definitely hope to get to the level 15. Uh, probably by tomorrow. Okay. Oh, hi. <laughs> All right. And I uh, appreciate uh, the replay because that was, yeah, Scare Claws. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. So let's just give away this win. I'm not even going to really try in this duel, but I'm going to look up what Iga was talking about here. Oh, go to this. Yeah. All right. And let's look at this new card. Hmm. Look here. Huh. Okay. And. Huh. And we go. Hmm. All righty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hopefully. You you guys that are here, yeah, hopefully your duels are going well. Um, yeah, got everything in the duels cup, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's my advice, man. You know, just it doesn't matter what you do. I mean, obviously, there's like a best deck and a not so best deck in every format, but like if they're gonna give you free gems no matter what, just make whatever, man. Have fun, and you know, yeah. You want to play starter deck Kaiba and see, dude, that would be a fun challenge. Like make an alt and then like you make the starter deck Kaiba from, uh, you know, two nineteen ninety nine, and you just say, Hey, you know what? I wonder if I can get all the gems in the, in the, in the duels cup. That'd be like the ultimate challenge, the ultimate series, the ultimate, you know what? No one steal my idea. This is trademarked by me and I'm going to do that stream tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Like, uh, that is, uh, wow, that's actually a really good idea. <laughs> you just make, like, a starter Yugi Evolution deck, <laughs> and you just say, you know what, uh, let me get on this alt and see if I can, yoink! <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So, we go here. Oh, I didn't launch. Oh, well. Uh, we're going to ignore that. I'm just going to read what Iga was talking about here. Let's see. Wow. The internet out here in uh, Wisconsin is really slow today. That's okay. Iron Neon. Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization.com. Okay. So this must be like where they put a... Uh, where they just kind of discuss some of the new cards that are coming out. But um, as soon as my internet in Wisconsin... Get together. We can. Oh, that's why. I see. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that could also be why the my cell phone was at the back of the computer. What time will I be sleeping? Um. Yeah, that's uh. You know, sir, I was actually just about to end stream. Like, as as soon as the three of you you pulled up. But um, I'm kind of glad I didn't. I feel a lot better now. Um, what time is it now? Let me... What time is it now? This is a great question, actually, because... Okay. Uh, I actually do have something to do in the morning. But, um... No, no, no. I don't, I don't mind staying. Oh, and honestly, I'm having more fun. I'm really glad I did stay. Um... You know what? Let's, uh, oh, hmm. So it's 318 right now. I'll tell you what, let's, uh, oh, this is actually like an article article. Okay, hang on. Yeah, I'll, I'm thinking maybe like four o'clock. I think that would be a good, you're in like 40 minutes. So I don't know what, what, where you are, sir, or where, whatever your time zone is, but I'm thinking here in, in like 40 minutes for me, maybe another hour. Let, let's just, yeah, if you're going to go 40 minutes, you might as well go another hour. So let's just say an hour from now, which would be 420. 
coincidentally enough. I don't know why that's funny. That shouldn't be funny. But, um, yeah, let me actually uh, go here. Let's show this. Uh, yeah, thanks, Iga. This is actually pretty um, interesting. Do I? <laughs> um, no. No, I do not. Uh, wait, do I? No. <laughs> No, I do not. Um, let's see here. Let's go here. Basically, I'm going to show you guys what's on. All right. And then... See here. <laughs> yeah, sleep is overrated, man. Yeah. Yeah. All you guys here, you know what? We might as well not sleep. We read this, uh, this Yu-Gi-Oh! article then... We play like a scary movie or something. Oh wait, like uh, I heard um someone was talking about this in um another stream I was in, and they said they said like now you can do like watch parties, which I don't know if they were talking about Kick or Twitch, but apparently, um somebody was saying like um uh, yeah they were gonna play like some scary movies or something like the next week. And then, um, yeah, basically you do, like, reaction content, but with movies. But I thought you couldn't do movies on Twitch. I thought they were tossed because, well, no, that's what it is. A lot of movies play, like, copyright music. So that's why I think a lot of people don't just stream movies. Or maybe it's both. I don't know. I don't know. Well, apparently Twitch or somebody, or maybe it's Kick, that, uh, and I just have the websites mixed up. But apparently somebody was telling me that Twitch like now allows watch parties. And that's uh if that's true, I'm gonna have to look into that. That's kinda nice. Um and I'm misremembering the conversation. Let me tell you something, Twitch, Jeff Bezos, if you're listening to me, or whoever runs Twitch, you better get one because like basically if kids allowing like you know, PG thirteen movies, then and you don't, uh let me just tell you that uh yeah, you better learn to fix that real quick. Because if you don't, mm, yeah, that could uh, that could impact your bottom line, and that's uh, nobody wants that. You can easily function with a ten minute power. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true, sir. That's so true. Uh, my computer for you guys. Just to update you guys. Don't know what you can see. But it is lagging, like, really hard. So, let me just, uh, I was going to show this article, and then, uh, while my computer's bugging out, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right. Okay.
Okay. Da, 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 da. Wait, what? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Where did my cup go? Oh, there it is. All right. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now, there we go. <laughs> okay, so here we go. And then we hit this. And then, like I said, I could use some fries right now. Hey, that would be, that would be pretty cool. Um, Let's pull this back up. Bum, 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 ba, da, na, 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 as a matter of fact, I will have an abundance of caution. This thing is heating. Uh, there we go. Uh huh. And then, right there. Okay, so basically, right, there is a new announcement for some new cards. And what we're going to do is, I'm actually going to close Master Duel while I read this, because, like, for whatever reason, Opening this up like tanked my frame rate. So, <laughs> oh, there it goes. Yeah, and Microsoft is now just saying like, okay, why don't we just end Master Duel? Yeah, in the process. Yeah, because that uh, I th I thought it might do that too. Because I was like, I ain't no way, fam. <laughs> ain't no way. But um, mm hmm, ain't no way, son. Mm -hmm. All right. I I figured there had to be something going on because I was just like, "What in the Sam Sam Flippy Flam is going on here?" <clears throat> I'm bad. I'm bad. But um, yeah. New cards. About breakfast time for me. There we go. Alrighty, so Master Duel is closed. That's the good part. And now, my desktop will now try to be loaded here. Um... In the meantime, I'm just going to chill here and eat and chat with you guys in the meantime. <clears throat> All right. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. Mm. 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 <laughs> Breakfast, that's right. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the ones we made along the way. <laughs> mm 
Hmm. Where you go? Mm -hmm. Let's see here. I think so, yeah. Well, for me, it's just, um, it is quite laggy. Well, or, or what it, what it is, is, um, yeah, Master, Master Duel kind of tanked, so like computers I can only describe as, as um, tank mode. <laughs> but no, it, it's all good because I'm, I'm eating here. But um, yeah, basically, um, so my computer will basically start taking out whatever's doing the most processing. Unfortunately for me, because you know, obviously I was uh, uploading some YouTube videos before I started this, which maybe I should, uh, that's probably, that's probably a good idea. It's not something I want to do, but I should probably start to, um, um, upload, like, basically upload, like, in between streams. I don't know. It's weird, though. Sometimes, um, <laughs> you know, because, yeah, I'm even thinking about, like, uh, the last stream I did right before I went on um, vacation, which I could talk about that for a little bit. Uh, the uh, yeah, where I went this weekend, uh, to uh, uh, Missouri, but um, yeah. So the weirdest thing is that like, yeah, it's just it's just hit and miss. Either my computer's like perfectly fine, and yeah, I can upload, stream, etc. Um, have Pokemon running and have Master Duel running and or my computer's like really weird master duel won't launch and it, it's either like i don't know <laughs> i guess part of it depends on the wi-fi too but um you know that's uh yeah i don't know basically my computer's like kind of like me i i or a human being it has it's like good days and it's bad days like on the good days yeah everything's fine i can open up whatever and on the bad days uh one, one internet extinct <laughs> will uh like tank my computer and i'm like whoa dude what <laughs> so yeah i i don't i don't know i'm not worried about it i don't want you guys to worry about it we're gonna eat <laughs> But, uh, yeah. No. <clears throat> hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, here. I probably just should close this out. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then uh, go from there. All right. Uh, format, right. So there was one thing. I It came back to me, sir. I'm sorry. So format. A lot of people don't like a rise heart. I think we've all gotten used to a rise heart at this point. Um, a lot of people don't like Pirelli. Uh, just because it takes quite a while. For them to do whatever they do. Um, here's the thing, man. I mean, this format is basically like... It reminds me of any other Master Duel format. It's just like... Yeah, yeah. It's fine, honestly. <laughs> like, it, it really doesn't... Um, what am I trying to say here? Um, what's the biggest threat in the format? Well, to be quite frank... And this is going to sound weird. Because uh, this isn't the best deck, this format. But the best, you know, the biggest threat um, to me, I guess it's um, Pirelli. Um, yeah, you know, 
Um, you know, at some point here, if Pirelli gets to be, you know, better or I'm sure they'll add some other cards too. Um, if you've got stuff that can negate spells or just say, hey, no spells. Um, yeah, uh, some of you guys will find this funny. You guys remember how, like, in Invasion of Chaos, right, everybody wanted a Chaos Emperor Dragon. On the way to the end, hey, it's the best card. It's, you know, a Chaos Monster. You know, it's funny. In this format, sir, right, imagine you had to pay, right, for for Master Duel cards. You know, like, two pennies, Chaos Emperor Dragon. A free Invader of Darkness, right, because no one likes that card. The value of the other secret rare in Invasion of Chaos, Invader of Darkness, the value of that card is like skyrocketing. Because if you think about it, all the Pirelli cards are quick plays, except for the field spell, and the continuous spell, and the trap card. But all the starter cards, all the main engine cards, are quick play. And you know, wouldn't it be funny... If people like started running away to main out Invader of Darkness, for those of you who don't know, right? Invader of Darkness is a card made in 2005 that simply reads, your opponent cannot activate quick spell cards. Which deck? Um, all you need is this card. Uh, I got you, sir. Hang on. Any deck, any deck, any deck can turbo it out because all you need is this card. Uh, Sinister, uh, yeah, Ichiro. Yeah, all you need is that card. And then, and then, and then you can just turbo it out. Or like, I don't know, man. Uh, how many decks can turbo out level eights? Um, all of them? I don't know, run it in Galaxy Eyes and then Reborn it. I don't know. Yeah, run it in Galaxy Eyes and then play Call of the Haunted. To start your turn. <laughs> like, uh, no, 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 seriously. I can think of a good Fiend engine. I don't know. I mean, I mean, yeah, it is a level 8, so trade in. I mean, there, there's, there's, there's just loads of ways to, to just get it going. Trade in, combo, 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 thin the deck, end on a Reborn. There, there are a lot of Reborn effects, too. Like, there are probably more Reborn effects in today's game than... There ever has been, which makes sense. They're always making new cards, but um, uh, there is um now like birth only gets level sevens, but yeah, level eight. I mean, basically what I would do is I can't think of the ones right now, but like blue eyes, blue eyes has tons of support, and there is just tons of support for just yeah yeah tier yeah mill invader Ugar. yeah yeah see that's good too. And then you just you just reborn it, you know what I mean? So yeah, I would say tier is probably a good way to go if that's your goal, you know. So or just I don't know, light sworn. Get it in the graveyard as soon as possible. And then, like obviously you want to go first. You you want to do this turn one. You know, turn one it's it's like a turn one deck. Turn one, you just like end on Invader of Darkness as a you know, spell negate. What's really funny about Invader of Darkness is like a lot of people also play Runic. <laughs> you know, in Master <laughs> Like, a lot of people. A lot, a lot of people. Yeah, that's like all they play is Runic. So, I'm just throwing that out there. You know, I don't know who needs the idea. But, um... Hey, man. you know, Or, you know, I don't know. Spell Canceler or whatever. You know, do you, bro. Do you. <laughs> it's just really funny. That, uh, yeah, I guess they, you know, Pirelli wouldn't have too much fun with that. So I'm just throwing that out there. Um, yeah, are they the best deck? No, nah, I'd probably Sprite is the head of them. And all, well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, as much as I rag on Branded, like Branded's up there, it's, it's always going to be up there, you know. Um, what else would be up there? Like top five. Top five. Eh, not necessarily in this order, but yeah, Pirelli, Branded, Sprite, Cash, mm, Venoms. Venoms number five. Yeah. 
So there you go. All right. Do 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 do. Alrighty. So. Hmm. There we go. All right. Better eat this before it gets soggy. No, that's right. Mm-hmm. But uh yeah, one thing I will say is like um yeah, appreciate you guys coming in tonight, man. I mean, um, <laughs> like the replays and stuff. Like, I mean, we just have a good time here. So, appreciate you guys. Um, mm. that's what I want to say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure over the weekend. Um, also we're up to like, um, how many followers are we up to? I don't know, but it's over sixty. And I was just like, oh. That's kind of nice. Uh, thanks, guys. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but uh, we're just going to try to um, keep at it and, and just go from there, I guess, you know. But I uh, yeah. <clears throat> yep. Do, 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 do. All right. Now I think I'll close that. And um also I think the YouTube is up in subscribers too. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say for sure. Is like um I know for sure the YouTube is above what it was last week. <laughs> you know, because I I took the uh, the few days off as well. So yeah, appreciate you guys. Um you guys are awesome. I mean, obviously, you know. Um, yeah, we're just doing whatever we do, just, uh, yeah, just kind of chat with you guys, talk about Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, and, hey, the more we grow, the, the better, honestly, so, uh, yeah, yeah, thanks to all you guys that have been, uh, coming through recently, just kind of, um, yeah, yeah, just chatting, checking it out, whatever, <laughs> yep, pretty cool, so, ba da 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 what was uh wait what was what about um do 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 <laughs> I've just been the great yeah uh you guys are funny I was reading some of the stuff you left like when I I went and took a, took a little break there <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Uh, you guys are funny. Um, <laughs> uh, Captain. Oh, what was the Duelist of the Roses about? I mean, I mean, really, what's funny is like the Duelist of the Roses episodes. So, like, here's the thing, sir, is like there. It was actually about nothing. I mean, essentially nothing. I think like the main thing we did is reincarnate for a really good card. Um, yeah, <laughs> because what's funny is like the Duels of the Roses episodes are basically just my excuse for mindless banter. And really the ranking challenge as a whole, right, <laughs> that's really what it is. It's just, it's an excuse for me to just say, oh, hey, I made it to where we can play Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses forever. So, yeah, basically like, yeah. <laughs> Like the the episodes of Duel to the Roses, it's really just an excuse to duel and talk about what's going on in the duel, and then just like I, I mean, I think you know, on a serious note, after the reincarnation, I think I just rambled for a bit, 
kind of like I'm doing now. And then we do it like panic. I don't think the biggest thing is the biggest thing is we didn't get any ranks up. So until we do get a rank up, it's kind of just for fun. You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's one of those series like, yeah, you know, like I, I made the ranking challenge. It's just really just saying, oh, no, the truth is like, I don't care if we ever even pass the challenge. I just wanted to make, um, I don't know, 200 episodes on Duelist of the Roses and just, uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll just give it a formal title. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, guys, I'm doing a challenge. No, but seriously, like when I first started that series, that's literally what I said to my son, like a friend I was talking to, too. He was just like, yeah, yeah. He's like, what are you thinking? What do you think about this? I was like, like, uh, this sounds like a stupid idea, right? You know? <laughs> What if, you know, what if we make it to where, all right, you know how Duels of the Roses can be beaten in like less than 30 minutes? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, and his name's uh, Salvador. His name's Salvador. So I said, hey, Sal, Salvador. Uh, he's like, yeah, man. I was, he's like, you know how Duels of the Roses can be beaten like eh, about 35 minutes? I was like, yeah, it's a really short game. He's like, and, I, and then I was just kind of, we were talking back and forth, back and forth, like, Hey, wouldn't it be nice if there's extra like locations on the map? If there was this, if there was, you know, Egyptian god cards in it, whatever. But uh, eventually, the ultimate conclusion we we reached is like, okay, Duels of the Roses isn't long enough. That's the problem, right? What's the solution? Well, <laughs> and like and like we were just talking back and forth and this and that, and like we're just like, oh man, what if they added a campaign to go to America? I mean, and, and of course, we're talking about all this stuff that's, it's never going to happen, bro. You know, Konami has since, they've gotten, like, so much money from that game, and the fan base is, like, really small, so they're they're just, they're just done. They've gotten what they want, and they're never going to remaster it. That's pretty clear, you know, which is a shame, but anyway. Like, the the consensus of, like, us talking was, like, we both obviously love the game, the game has a his dolly. <laughs> yeah, no, th what's funny is he actually is a uh, artist, but anyway. Um yeah, the the consensus was just like, okay. Um this is dumb. Why is such a great game? And it took some thinking on my own. It's like, you know what? And that's basically how the ranking challenge came to be. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> just like I wanted any excuse to play the game. For as long as possible. And well, here we are. So <laughs> all right. Mm. Mm hmm Okay. That. I think this should work. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Oh, dude, that's what it is. Okay. Okay, we figured out the problem, guys. You know what tanked my computer, sir, and uh, anyone else? Uh, Iga, everyone? Like, um, oh yeah, uh, oh hi. Like, you guys know what tanked my computer? Freaking, uh, and you notice how it happened in the middle of nowhere, too? So what it is, is um, Windows Defender is set to auto-scan tonight. Tonight, from, uh, yeah, basically exactly when it started until 6-8. So that's what it is. That's what tanked my computer. Because I was... It was, just, it was pretty weird, you know. Everything was working kind of normal, and then, <clears throat> all right, we found the source. We found the problem. Anyway, Phantom Nightmare, new Yu-Gi-Oh set. Uh, reaction. Okay, so uh, for Tim, my editor, <clears throat> I want you to basically cut off the entire stream. What, whatever the past three hours and forty nine minutes. And we're gonna start a YouTube clip here for Avad. You ready? Okay, so that's to my editor, <clears throat> my editor Tim. 
you guys all say hi to Tim and tell Tim you love him because uh, this guy does like, obviously he's doing it all for free too. So, you know, you just, uh, yeah. Um, we're going to see if I can use my uh, tax rebate for Tim or like, we're going to have to do something nice for this guy. I, I don't know. Maybe like a nice little bonus. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to like give some subs and maybe for a uh, stream eats, I'll link it to his house. Not my, <laughs> in uh, Wisconsin. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I got you, Tim. I got you. All right. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, Phantom Nightmare, let us try to scroll down. Also, 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 maybe this website's pretty buggy and slow. That could be uh, what's going on here. By the way, I like the new counter trap. Look at this. Is this guy using the Kamehameha? I don't know. Anyway, Phantom Nightmare is a new set. So, for those of you who don't know, <clears throat> There was a set called uh, The Shining Darkness, I think, that had uh, Ubel, and it also had, um, it had, like, Ubel, it had, like, the alternate forms of Ubel, like Terror, because uh, the forms of Ubel start with Ubel, then Terror Incarnate, and then the Ultimate Nightmare, right, so, um... Yeah, this the original set of uh, Phantom Darkness was released in, or whatever set Ubel came in, it was released in like 2007. Um, and yeah, Ubel's just a level 10 monster that reads, "Hey, you punch me, you take the damage, not me." It's basically like Makanko before Makanko was cool. Uh, so yeah, so basically every Yu-Gi-Oh archetype steals uh from GX. So just so we're clear, GX is the best anime of all time. Because other archetypes can't stop stealing from it. Um, another archetype that had its, you know, its uh, basically core technique stolen was Cyber Dragons. I mean, think about it. How many cards special summon themselves from the hand? Yeah, every deck is a mutated form of Cyber Dragons. And what's the, what's the also, 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 what was one of the first decks to Miracle Fuse? I mean, obviously, Heroes were the first to Miracle Fuse. But Cyber Dragons weren't far behind, you know, with um, Overload Fusion. So, yeah, basically every deck copies GX, and there's a reason for that. And that's because Yu-Gi-Oh! GX is the best anime out there of all the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Not... <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, hey, Tim, did you get the clip for the uh, me keeping my face straight? Uh, was was I looking at the camera? Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Take two, take two. Okay, guys. So we're talking about um the new U belt cards. And see, here's the thing. Every Yu Gi Oh set copies GX because GX was so good. Think about every card that special summons it from the hand. Right. You've got Cash Tira. You've got you know just I in any deck, Dogmatica. Just you know any deck, any deck, even Rituals these days. Ritual decks are special summoning themselves from the hand. And that's because Cyber Dragons were the first to do it. And, you know, a lot of decks are miracle fusing from the graveyard. Like Heroes and, and Cyber Dragons right alongside each other. First to do it. So, next thing you know, every deck will be saying Dino DNA. Anyway, so this is uh, Phantom Darkness. Or Phantom Nightmare. Um, rain destruction on your opponent with Iron Thunder Hammer. Chat support? Uh, anyway, so same column tricks, new something. Uh, sh it's a secret island. Shh, you're getting close. Um, oh, so we have a new card. Teki no Ikadsuchi. Oh, nice. Uh, yes, yeah, Steel Sea Steed, Thunder Hammer, Iron Thunder Hammer, Counter Trap. So this is what I was talking about. When a spell trap or monster effect is activated, ooh, I like all that. So it can stop anything. Pay half of your life points. Negate the activation if you do destroy that card. Then destroy all spells. Ooh, 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 ooh. So, yeah, guys, this is uh, pretty good for Bountiful Artemis, uh agents as a art hole. And uh, anyway, 
Uh, anyway, this kanji right here has been previously localized as iron. Ooh, okay. It's a play on Ikazuchi, a way of saying thunder. Yeah, and Ikazuchi's like slang for thunder. It's not really like the main... Because like if you're talking about thunder, most people will say kaminari. Or they'll just say like, yeah, anyway. But I guess Ik Ikazuchi is like... It's almost like zapping. It's not really thunder or lightning. It's like, yeah, anyway. But uh, tossing in suchi, the word for hammer or mallet. <laughs> okay, <laughs> makes sense. So as a semi-related note, it's a metaphor for a completely devastating blow or an unstoppable force, which I kind of like. Ever hear the term iron hammer of justice? Yeah, well, you know, speaking of justice, check on my ally of justice stream. You can watch right Okay, anyway, we're uh, moving on here. Best Johto ROM hack. Um, best Johto ROM hack. Uh, Crystal Clear is pretty fun. Uh, also, Cool Crystal is really good. Um, so, Cyber Dragon needs their own birthday. <laughs> oh, man. Also, thanks for the uh, welcome to the stream here for the first time. I'm your host, Floodmon14. <laughs> yeah, see you there. <laughs> All right. Yep, appreciate you being here, Joker. Uh, we're checking out some new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. So, but um, yeah, uh, Teki ni Teki no Ikad Suchi. Yeah, pretty good, honestly. So anyway, uh, any other? Oh, Rip Solemn Judgment. <laughs> Now, I don't see this card up being played. Well, honestly, I do. Because, like, oh, that's a good point. It doesn't negate the summon. Ooh, yeah, that is, um, yeah, good point, good point, good point. But even out without negating summon, I mean, it's still pretty good. Because, like, an imperm that just says no to, like, all effects... And also, it's just another name. It's another name of a counter trap as well. So, but yeah, a lot of people will, will per... <laughs> What's a god? <laughs> Not believer. Uh, nowhere, I, I think I'm initially... I think it was decent until you realizing you, you destroying all of the cards in the same column is not optional. Because you can blow your spell trap and monster. Well, of course, the, the way... I see what they're saying. But the way you play around this is obviously you like, okay, let's say you set up your board and you, okay, turn one, you're not going to set up your board with all five monster zones. Maybe you are. Well, okay. Leave one in the EMZ, you know, and then you put one here, boop, 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 leave one zone. All, you know you're playing this card and you know its functionality. So leave it like either leave the middle zone is going to be the the best one for this. Leave the middle zone open and then just, you know, go from there. Also, I guess the zone with if you occupy the EMZ on the left. Yeah, put it up in the EMZ on the right. That's also a pretty good idea and vice versa. So I'm just saying those are the two pretty good zones. So. And obviously, you know you're playing this card, so just um, keep in, that in mind. And don't play sloppily, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you obviously don't want to... Um, I guess while we're here, yeah, let's check out some of the other cards in Phantom Nightmare. Sure. So we are here. Um, bum, 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 bum. Phantom Nightmare. Go Rush. Let's see if we can find any other new cards since, I mean, we're already here on this website. So let's see if we can find any any other new cards to talk about. Um, I guess we can go to, like, articles. No? Um, newsletter. News. Let's just go here. And check out the new sets. And maybe they'll have um, cards. But honestly, 
I like it, you know. <laughs> I mean, but obviously I'm I'm kind of a a sucker for our counter traps and yeah, I'm just kind of used to the play style. Also, also, here's the reason I like counter traps. Is because like when I came into the game, DPE was everywhere. And, and you know, it's not anymore. Because of beast shields. But um, yeah, dude. <laughs> what a lot of people don't get is the best part about counter traps is literally right here. You see this part I'm circling? The arrow. What that means is spell speed three. There are just so many quick effects in this game, and if you have a higher spell speed, you can't chain a lower spell speed. What's spell speed? Well, all right, spell speed means uh, most quick effects are spell speed two. So normal traps, like if you don't have this symbol, it's spell speed two. Spell cards are spell speed one. Quick play spell cards are spell speed two. But basically, let's say your opponent plays a quick play, and you chain this counter trap, well, unless they have a red reboot in hand, they can't really do anything. <laughs> so that's the nice thing is uh, about counter traps. Raid Raptor's got a rank 13 card. Is it a boss monster? That's my question. <laughs> what? Is it is it a uh, maximum <laughs> That's my question. <laughs> like what? <laughs> well, to be fair to Sir, Raid Raptors inherently run a lot of uh rank up magics. So okay, I see what they're doing, and it's not impossible to have a rank. Hell, Ray Raptors have so many rank up cards, they could literally run a rank 16 card. And they could pull it off consistently, too. And the funny thing is, I'm not joking. So. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yes. Now I summon my Egyptian god card. Reed Raptor Ultimate Mega Chicken. Arise, chicken. Wah ha 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 ha. Now you shall feel the fire of my overlay network, you foolish fool. It is I, Malik Blishtar. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I imagine pulling that off would be like <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. Um uh wow, this website is really really buggy. But uh, I think I'll close it for now. But um well, oh no. The fact that I just realized my scan is going means I probably, probably should play something that has like a low, really low amount of power. So, yeah, let me see how long it takes to close this. Jeez, dude. Man, yeah, that website was just, ooh. Well, and with everything else I got going here. Um, tank. Tank, tank, tank. Um... Let's switch to this for a second. And, um, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to switch to playing chess for a little bit. <laughs> just because, like, my computer's still 
I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it is screaming right now. Like, and it's... Oof, honestly, it's on fire. It's, like, really, really hot, so... Mm -hmm. All right, but um, if you guys decide to leave stream, honestly, I understand, because um, not every Yu-Gi-Oh player I know, IRL, likes chess. So, um, yep. For all you duelists, thanks for being here, and uh, also for you YouTube VOD watchers in the future, thank you for being here as well, and. I understand. You know what I mean? Something you're just like, hey, man, I get, you know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're just going to go here, and we'll see if we can play some new games here. So, all right. Oh, man. <clears throat> all right. So let's see about a new game. Big ol'. Right. All right. Do 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 do. Bo do 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 Yeah, like it'll take a while for my computer to um, cause it's still doing like the defender scan or whatever in the background. It will take a second to do the first game, but I think after that we should be good. And um, yeah. And basically from there we can just kind of. Mess around uh, for as long as I feel like it, really. <laughs> Just play a little chess. And then, um, yeah, I think, uh, uh, yeah, I think here in a little bit, we'll call it a good stream. So, and really, like, I, I mean, I could in, in stream now if I wanted to. I could be like, yeah, that's good. But now to close it out, we'll have a little gameplay. You know what I mean? So, because I kind of just want to. But, all right. Good luck to our opponents. Uh, Dexter. Oh, like Dexter's Laboratory. Um, anyway, let's start with this move. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> yeah, we ain't in. <laughs> Service is like, chug, chug, chug. Chug that milk. <laughs> uh, let us do... This move. Now, that's a pretty interesting move. Moving to uh, D4 kind of uh, kind of undermines this pawn right here. So, ah, oh, pushing by, huh? Yeah, that's smart. With that being said, I think I'll move the bishop right here and just kind of lock it up. Uh, next move, probably the knight is going to come out, so... And their knight is out. Okay, let's just throw our knight out. And go from there. Okay, that move didn't really change the equation. But I think from here, it's almost like we get a free move, basically. I think I will... Mm, we could attack the queen on this diagonal. But, um, hmm, it would need some support, so I'm thinking we move here, and we go from there, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, so from here, hmm. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> and all of the cinnamon toast crunches here. All right. And sir, let me know when you're, uh, <laughs> Your uh, door dasher. <laughs> oh, I should probably go here before I get timed out, by the way. Uh, what did the opponent do? Oh, they're just offering the trade. Okay, straight up. 
Um, yeah, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Okay, so they take with their queen, which I guess could be a problem, but mm, not really. Not really. <clears throat> All right. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. So in comes their knight. Let's move this. I actually want to move this knight first. Oh, no, I don't. Bishop. And I'm probably going to castle to the queen's side. Well, which side looks better? Hmm. Let's just wait it out, honestly. We don't have to be in a hurry to castle. But in case I feel the need to castle, yeah, there are a lot of pieces just lined up over here. So maybe I'll castle queenside, actually. I don't know yet. We're basically just going to wait for for him to castle and essentially copy the same. I mean, obviously, this side looks safer. This this uh, queenside. So that's probably where we're going to go. But um, yeah. OK, and yeah, they castled this side, too. Uh, so pretty interesting. Um, let's actually, believe it or not, despite it looking scary, the side's actually safer, so, uh, to castle on. So let's go here with this knight. Mm hmm And we'll just go from there. Now, if they trade, if they trade into me here, then the queen side will be safer. Interesting move. So they're going to trade bishops again. Which, again, I'm fine with, actually. Okay, but the knight is pretty close. Also, I see. So, if you castle over here, that's checkmate. So, that's pretty dumb. Uh, one thing I will say is this knight is currently undefended. So, pretty interesting. I say we move the queen. We at least gain, like, a little tempo on this knight. And, um, hmm. I mean, maybe I even move right here. <laughs> just to kind of fork these guys and then that honestly seems pretty good um no because then you let allow the queen to go right here for a check so that's no yeah let's just slide the queen over <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and go from there all right there we go and let's see if they, what's funny is even if they move the knight, yeah, this diagonal is pretty wide open, so I don't know what they would do about that. Anyway, with the knight now gone, excuse me, let's move our knight, eh, let's move it right here and then castle, I think. I can move it even here. Ooh, that's actually a pretty big threat. And I don't know what uh, White's going to do to stop that. Yeah, that, uh, hmm. This knight is looking pretty good, honestly. I mean, I guess they could line up here. But, uh, yeah, ooh, they didn't see that one. I guess this knight does defend it. But this is a big fork right here. So, got that pawn to move, though. And I guess let's go, hmm. Yeah, let's just go back, and then I'll go here, probably. So, pretty interesting series of moves, and especially now that they've started moving their pawns. Nice. I probably will. Let's see if I can get them to move another pawn, like another pawn. Because if I can get them to move this pawn, then I will castle on the queen side, for sure. Because what I'll do is I'll retreat the knight way over here, eventually. And we'll go from there. It's their move, though. Let's see what they do. They could move, like, the queen in and just kind of... I don't know. They have options. So. Actually, this queen's, like, really boxed out over here, the more I think about it. Can't move here on this diagonal. Can't move here. I mean, yeah, you can take the pawn, but... Yeah. Yeah, the queen side's obviously safer here for us. So... Pretty interesting.
Okay, so they move in their night, and that's a complete blunder because, um, yeah, just a free night. So, I don't know if you'll see those moves, but, well, I guess it wasn't free. Yeah, they got our night in the process, but kind of a weird exchange. Um, definitely a weird way about going about it. So, what are the threats from the queen? Well, we can go here here and here but obviously we just discussed i'm probably going to castle this way so i mean honestly that's this queen's not even a threat right now on on these diagonals so and i might as well attack it and get some moves for free so yeah that was a bit a uh, bit strange there though the the way they exchanged and more importantly what it did is it allowed me to go on this side now i realize this pawn's isolated but once I move this knight, um, yeah, these pawns are just kind of free to queen trade. Hmm. Okay. Um. I'm. How about no? Does the queen trade stop me from castling? Not really. No. So I think here we castle, and again, if they want to take my rook, queen for a rook, it's fine. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Queen for a rook. Yeah, that uh that didn't sound too good. But uh you do you, man. I mean I'm not gonna maybe maybe they won't see it. Maybe they won't see that my rook is okay. Alright, so here let's just attack the queen because uh yeah, why not? Um what move will I do to attack the queen? What the we do have some options, one of which I really like, which is right here to move this out of the line of fire. You know what I mean? And then we just back this queen up. Yeah, because why not? So, yeah, there we go. Okay. Also, 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 I guess accepting the queen trade would be good for us because this pawn would be stuck. It clearly couldn't go anywhere. They would have double pawns here, meaning the pawn behind it would be kind of stuck at some point of eventuality. Um, and more importantly, this pawn would be isolated. So maybe I should trade now that I think about it. Also, the knight's coming in, so... You know what? After thinking about it, let's just trade here. Um, now, what's the threat? Obviously, this pawn's being attacked, as is this one. But uh, do I care? Not really. I mean, I guess I could chase the knight away first and then trade. But, um, hmm. Oh, also, also, also. Hmm. They could take here if I don't trade right now with the knight. And then uh, I take with the queen. Ooh, that's pretty nasty. Uh, let's move this rook right here. Okay. And honestly, if they grab this pawn, I don't really care. It's just a free pawn. But we're basically saying you can't just walk in here and... You know, I guess I could go here, too. No, no, they can't. <laughs> that would be a blunder. But we definitely stopped this knight move on the F7 pawn. So there's that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Took me a second to find that one, but... uh, Okay, and here we go. So this queen which the entire time was defended with one pawn move. All it takes is one mistake, guys, and this queen is undefended. Yeah, so we just... I mean, I guess we'll lose the rook, but, I mean, with check, which is the funny part. So I have to actually think about this. We would lose the rook with check, get forked, 
There's no way this is worth it, though. There's just no way. Um, there's just no way. Um, hmm. Also, this was being attacked. I think the best move is actually just to take it with the pawn. That can't be right. That can't be right. You know what? Let's take... There's, I'm sure there's a way to tactically do this. Let's take the queen. Let's take it. Because there's got to be a way to just, just really punish him for this one. There's got to be a way. So, I'm just going to trust my instincts on this one. Because that's... Uh, I mean, I guess this is a good setup. It's pretty wild, really. But... The pawn grabbing two rooks. I guess it is possible. But. Here's the thing. Okay. Okay. See here's the. Okay. That's perfect. That's the thing. As I was hoping they wouldn't see. Okay. So here's what we do now. Here's what we do. We basically trade this rook into him. And what we're saying is. Okay. Yeah. You can get a queen or whatever. But next move. I'm taking your other rook. So then they have to slide over. Right. Then we can't take the knight because we have to stay on. Well, actually, we can. We can take the knight. Yeah, well, what am I talking about? We can take the knight right now um, if I want to. Also, I could take this just straight up. And then we have a knight and a queen. And they have only one rook. That's that is doable. So yeah. So let's take it with the rook. That's that's definitely a worthy sacrifice. And then they probably should take back with the yeah. And then we take back with the queen. Okay, we did it. We did. It. I knew there was a way to do that. Luckily, they didn't see the fork over here with check. Like that would have actually been their best move. Um, but anyway. That was nuts, dude. So, crazy. Anyway, let's put the king in check a few times. Um, let's go here. We're running low on time, too, but... Wow, that was wild, bro. That was wild. Just so wild. <laughs> oh, man. What a wild game. All right. Okay, nice. All right, so we're out of time. But uh, yeah, good game to our opponent there. Um, we played that out. Obviously, <laughs> we're gonna win that one. But uh, man, that was that was crazy, man. That was a crazy little in-game sequence right there. But anyway, let's do another match and go from there. Yeah. All right. That was. <laughs> Wow. That was nuts. So, all right. <laughs> Okay. All right. Good luck to our opponent. Blunder, blunder six nine six seven. Okay. All right. So I'm guessing they're gonna fiend keto here. So I'll just um. Let's just attack this pawn. What happens if we just attack this pawn? Okay. All right. Well, that is an option. I think I'm going to try to castle queen side over here. So let's go for. Well, actually, I'm ready to castle king side. What am I saying? Go for this move. And next move, castling, man. 
pretty straightforward opening there. All right, so there's that pawn. Don't care. Um, let's just back the knight. Put out this bishop. Okay. Uh, we could attack it again. Which actually, that's we can just take the knight right now. So. Oof. All right, and we can attack the queen at the same time. So, yep, yeah, that's uh, okay. And let's just uh, get rid of that bishop, right? So, next move, let's just pile up on this pawn. And. Yeah, I don't know. All right, so they take that. Uh, we can take right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we take with the queen. Actually, I don't know if they'll see that one, but they've got a free bishop there. Well, I guess it, I guess we're still even though. Two rooks. Ooh, they didn't see. They had the queen lined up. Now they can't do it. Okay. Go right here. And we'll go from there, yeah. They didn't see. They had a free bishop there, but because uh, because they didn't see it, we were actually up a piece. So, ooh, pretty interesting move here. We can do a discovered attack. So, again, we move here. The king's in check. And I don't know what they're going to do, but um, this bishop is free for the taking. So they move to the side. This bishop's ours from the discovered attack. So also the rook's under attack, so I imagine it'll just slide right here, but still pretty, uh, pretty interesting sequence of events. Um, so there's that. Wow, they're just giving this rook up. Which, yeah, I don't know. That's not a good move at all. So there's that. They didn't even try to save this rook. They have to take it back because he's in check. So, hmm. I guess that is the threat. Okay, so the threat is they can move the queen in here for back rank, right? That's the threat I just saw. The problem is, the problem is this. Um, yeah, let's just attack the queen on this diagonal, actually. So, pretty interesting move. Um, also, like, now it's a double attack. Yeah, they have two pieces under attack at the same time. And yeah, that's a move, I guess. But what happens after that, I don't know. I mean, what are you going to do? You take that knight? Yeah, I doubt it. So. I guess maybe they can think they can take my rook, but how are you gonna do that? My queen's guarding the the square here. <laughs> like I don't I don't get that. I guess just to force my queen out of the my king out of the corner, but not looking too good. Okay, now they finally slide. But yeah, honestly it's a little too late. So what's funny about this position too is I can let my rook out and leave it defended too. Because my queen's just sitting right here. So let's move our bishop right where do I want it to guard some squares here. I do have to watch out for queen forks. So, um, I mean, also I could just put his king in check. I could just do that, you know, and just, I mean, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> yeah, put the king in check. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Let's put the king in check. Um, mm -hmm. Let's, uh, oops. Wait, what? Oh, I don't know how that happened. Well, anyway, let's put the king in check right here. And I didn't even mean to make that move, but it turns out it's still a good one <laughs> because, yeah. And put the king in check forces it to 
if it moves to the side, that's a misplay. And it, but it has to, because the queen has it in check. See, now that we get the fork with the rook. So, even though that was a misclick, a mouse click, it was actually like the perfect move because, wow. I didn't even think of that move, but that was kind of just a happy accident. Yeah. Now we take with the queen. King's in check again. Now we go back. King's in check again. You see what I mean? That's dangerous. And now, okay, where'd it go? Right here? Uh, ooh, King's moving up. That's like the last thing you want. Well, now, let's just get this rook out while it's defended by this queen. So what I want to do is actually move back to default right here, where I was, and check it that way. And But, but basically what I'm doing is repositioning my queen and getting ready to let these pieces out. <clears throat> Man, so yeah, let's just move right here. Um, yeah, and this should be defended, so that's good. Okay, yeah, quite a series of moves right there, but uh, wow. I mean, I guess they do have this queen check, but I can just kind of yeah. Okay, so what's the threat? I mean, I guess this pawn's under attack. Should should I defend this pawn? No, the queen's already defending it, so that's kind of dumb. Uh, one thing I can do is move this knight right here, so, because it's defended by my queen. So, yeah. All right, your move, buddy. Wow, that was nuts. That was nuts. That that misclick with the uh, bishop was actually the right move <laughs> because it made the rook slide over into a queen fork. So, okay. Check. Not a problem. Um, we just... Oh, well, not check, but... Anyway. We take... We take... Okay, and then let's do just a fork. And we'll grab, like, some extra pawns or something. Uh, something else I could do, actually, is... Okay, I was getting ready to say, does the knight have any moves that could put the king in check? Not really, but, you know. Move here with the check. Yeah, I seriously could consider moving my knight in. Depending on where the king goes. Yeah, like, even right there, see, this is a free... Essentially, it's a free check, because... What's the queen going to do about it? Take my knight? I mean, I guess. But, you know... All right, and again, ooh, pretty dangerous check here. The queen is, like, really close. So it's also defended. Uh, Got to move. So, yeah, this is getting a little scary for black here uh, with all the checks. Um, Let's see here. Possible checks right there. I could just straight up just take this pawn. And just say, hey, you know what? That pawn's mine. Um, mm -hmm. I'm sure there's a good series of checks here that I'm just not thinking of. But in the interest of time, let's just kind of move this right, to safety. Uh, I'm thinking about the if I move this, where can the queen go? This here. Are there any checks on my king? Oh, it's on white, so no. Also, it's blocked off, so now let's just move right here if I don't lose this pawn. And wait, that's... Well, yeah, yeah, because the pawn defends the knight, so that's fine, actually. Okay. <clears throat> we did it. Everything's defended. Everything's awesome. All right. Okay, so this is clearly a fork. Um, let's just move the rook. Um, hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, let's move the rook right here. Actually, a really good move for us. Okay, and we'll go from there. Yep, free pawn, but I don't care. All right, and we will take the queen. Let's actually offer the queen trade at this point. I'm sure they'll decline it, but, you know. Mm, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Offer the trade. I mean, the smart move is to decline it at this point, but. Uh, oh, they actually accepted it. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, anyway, let's uh, cut the king off from that pawn. And yeah, okay. Attacking the knights. Let's just go over here. And what's the king gonna do about it? You can't cross the path of the rook. So, all right, we'll activate. Our king. Mm hmm. Right. And let's see here. Okay. We'll wait until the king has moved up enough. Then we'll swap the rook and the knight. Obviously, we have to stop this pawn. Pretty obvious. So, ooh. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, let's move right. Let's move, wait until it waits. Wait until it moves down one square. Let's go from there. Let's move to the side. They know they can't move one square because... Yep, undefended. So now we take this pawn out. Um, and we put the king in check at the same time. So there we go. King's in check. I imagine I'll move back here, but still. I just wanted the pawn fork. Nice. So what we can do here is fork both pawns. Right. Both of these pawns are being forked by the knight. <clears throat> Meaning we're going to be able to stop one of them for sure. So, okay, so there's that one. And then we we simply take this one. And that's fine, you know. Did I have to do that? No, but we're a little low on time. So anyway, this it's too far away to stop this. So that's pretty good. King can't stop this. Um, let's just defend all the pawns over here. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'll, I'll watch the action on the right side, but not too worried about it. All right. Okay, so that's locked up. Rook, ta rook takes. Okay, and what we do here is let's just move the rook right here. These pawns are boxing out the king. So, okay, that doesn't really, I mean, we can exchange some pawns, but that's fine. All right, so, change that. King takes, you know. Uh, from here, we go here. Okay, so they're trying to move that. And we have this is this isolated pawn, this last pawn. But they can't take it because our rook's defending it. So, uh, yeah. So we just kind of sacrifice this pawn, basically. And then they can't actually take it because, yeah. Let's just move this king up. I mean, they can take it, but that would be a bad move. So we move here. And we just start to push this pawn. So. Pretty easy in game, so yeah, yeah. So there we go, and it's over. All right. All right. All right. There we go, and it's all ogre down. Ever check? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay.
Mm -hmm. Inevitable Queen, pretty much, yep. <laughs> Welcome in KCS, uh, Queen time. And now we just try to checkmate, so pretty easy. All right. I just have to watch the time, really, so. Uh, there we go. All right, and we'll do the simple ladder checkmate. Oh, yeah. Oh, had to watch that one there. Whoa, time. <laughs> close, close call. Yep. Whoa. Yeah, I don't think I'll have enough time, actually, but that's okay. <laughs> we, all, we all know I should have won that one, so. <laughs> yep, low on time. Ooh. All right. Draw. Not too bad. <laughs> All right. Honestly, that not too bad. Um, overall we play that one pretty good, so I don't really mind that we drew. Just the fact that at the end game we were doing good, so All right, new game time. Do 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 interesting move. Let's the queen out. Uh that's kind of a weird square, by the way. I'm just gonna go right here with the knight first. Oh, you know <laughs> oh my bad, Casius. <laughs> well, welcome to the chat. Um, how's your day going, amigo? <laughs> uh hope it's going pretty good. Um let's just move here. Ba -ba -dum -ba -ba. <laughs> See, it's almost evening, dog. Yeah, pretty much. Um, let's move the queen right here. All righty. Well, with that being done. Let's uh, move forward because, uh, yeah, why not? Pawns defended. So, by the queen. What are you going to do about it? Uh, by the way, our opponent is not even a single soul. Wait, what? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's a move. Is it a good move? I don't know. One thing I do know, is I'm going to trade this knight right now. I guess I can slide their pawn out of the way. The problem for them is, is when they take back the knight. Yeah, look, I take the pawn with check. So, again, yeah, I don't know if that was the best move. But, um, well, here we are. I play the Chinese equivalent of this quite well. My skills are not as proficient. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, oh, yeah, I'm the, the chess professor. Like, no. Definitely not true, but um, there are one or two things I know that, uh, you know, you know, you know. Uh, also, this pawn is being attacked, but what we can do is check the king right now, right? Then, interesting move. Uh, either way, we can slide this queen over and... Um, yeah, still defend the pawn. So that's... Uh, also, this is a fork. So if we ever get a pawn sitting here, that is a big problem for whites. Now, is my queen trapped? It could be quite soon, quite easily. But uh, I guess that's a move too. But um, from here, I think we just get out of dodge, man. So we move our queen back. Google Chinese chess. Hmm. All right. Sounds good. Uh, with that, let's uh, let's do one thing. Let's pin pin the knight with the queen. Cause I can do that from here. No, no, no. I tell you what. Let's just go back. If if you ever feel like you should go back, probably should go back. So let's go back here. Basically, we're having this pawn move up. Basically. 
<coughs> if they want to. Actually, they probably should move the pawn up. Ooh, yeah, because I was going to say if they don't. Um, now, I do have to watch out for this fork right here. So I guess out of an abundance of caution, I will move something. I will move this right here, actually. So, yep. Chinese chess. All right. Sounds good. But yeah, that also helps develop my bishop, which I kind of wanted to do anyway. So, all right. But by the way, the middle of the board is actually really open. That's one thing I want to keep an eye on on this match is like, gee willikers, how open is the middle of the board? And my goodness. All right, so we stop this. Next move, probably the pawn's just going to move right here to the white square. I, I wouldn't see why not. So, Also, their time is about the same as ours. So, Okay, that's a move, but do I care? No, let's just sack the knight. I mean, I guess in the long term, it does weakness weaken this square, this diagonal right here, and this diagonal right here. So I guess that uh, maybe that will matter. I don't know. But uh, yeah, anyway. Do, 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 do. All right, knight is attacked. What will the response be? I don't know. Maybe they'll just trade into this bishop and just, you know, cut their losses. But we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Felt pretty good. Okay. We're taking quite a long time here. Did the uh did the McDonald's Wi Fi disconnect? I don't know. <laughs> that it that may actually end up mattering. They could have also had something like IRL to take care of, but uh yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that is interesting. A lot of stuff to work out here tactically, so. Yeah, because honestly, this sacrifice makes a lot of sense the more and more I think about it, so. Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, I was wondering what was going on there. Um, yeah. Yeah, so obviously something happened with them. I don't know what, but um yeah, new game. All right. <clears throat> Probably had something they had to take care of real quick. Let's just go with well. 
Okay. Let's go with kind of let the queen out. Oh, let's go with this move. All right. And I'm thinking about castling this side of this game. So let's go with move. Okay, this pawn's being attacked. Mm hmm. Hmm. Queen's being attacked. Um. Let's just that. Mm hmm. All right, so they go back and hmm. let's just hmm. Hmm. Now let's take this because we're basically saying, hey, the knight has to move somewhere. I don't care where you move it, but uh. I mean, good luck. And it can't go here. So, okay. Yeah, also, or that has to happen. So, um, okay, so let's do a little subtle move here. And there we go. And there we go. What we're basically trying to do is undermine this bishop, like, a lot. So... Okay, they move the knight in the way. But even still, this is a pretty good move. All right. Okay, so that knight goes there. Yeah, I guess that's slightly annoying, but not really. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. Let's go ahead and <coughs> excuse me. Go ahead and um trade this off. Yeah, let's go ahead and trade that off. The bishop. Okay. And then let's just Back this night somehow. Let's go right here. Yeah. And see what they're going to do about it. Oh, just taking it, huh? All right. Sounds good to me. Um, Let's move right here. Oh, that went uh, pretty good. Bishop? Okay. Let's move this bishop right here hmm um hmm, that's a fork yeah hmm okay yeah let's move this bishop right here and next move knight castle you know they're castled so uh one thing i will note though is about their castling yeah our pawns have a nice good head start also i could really blunt this queen if i want to and just say yeah, what are you gonna do about it? You know. Um. Also, this bishop's kind of blunted by their own pawn, so that's uh, interesting. All that being said, let's move this pawn up. So, yeah, and I mean that kind of lines up on this pawn, I guess. But from there, we just move that and we castle. So, pretty easy counter. Um, and yeah, what's good about this is like, we're going to have an opposite kind of, we're going to be castled queen side. They're going to be castled king side. So it's an opposite sided kind of thing. And yeah, that's cute and all. But the big advantage for us is we actually have all these pre-pushed. Um, I guess this is a weakness over here, but not really. So 
Uh, let's just cancel. And then, uh, yeah. A pretty interesting game we have here. Was there a better move than castling? Maybe. But, you know, I just want to get to safety and, you know, go from there. So, yeah. Okay. I guess this piles up on the night. You know, maybe make some freedom happen. But, uh... What I'm going to do is, yeah, just literally do what I just said. Just focus on this side and just push, 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 push. And then what are you going to do about it? I don't know, but uh, good luck. And then, uh, yeah, let's just push this pawn. I, I literally don't know what they're going to do about this. I mean, yeah, that's that. But uh, and I guess we just take this. And I guess this pawn moving is kind of a problem. But yeah, I would doubt they would take their queen for... Yeah, I guess you get a free pawn. But, um... What's funny is if they go down here for this check... Um... We get to move here, and with an attack on the queen. So, one thing I will do here... Oh, I see. Yeah, I see, I see. The one thing I will do here is actually trade a rook. Hmm? Yeah, I see. And then I will stop them from going to the corner by moving here. So a pretty interesting series of moves. But um Yeah. Been real. Been really real, son. Yeah, let's just stop the corner move with the king by sliding it over. And then next move, probably moving the rook here. So yeah. <laughs> All right, I, I see what they were trying to do now. They were trying to checkmate, but we spotted it, man. Okay, the knight's going back. That's an interesting move. The most interesting thing about that move is it lets me play this rook here safely. So I don't know that that was the best move. And I don't know what they were planning to do with the knight, like just relocate it and come over here. I don't know, but... Yeah, that uh, hmm, that might come back to bite him. Another move we can do here is simply take this pawn. So, yeah, and I really don't know what they're going to do. Also, this pawn's just free, I guess. So, you know, yoink. And um, now their king is really opening up. So, yeah, don't know what they were thinking with that one. Um. Okay, rook lining up on the queen. Is that a threat? I guess so. Also, I guess that knight's defended, but yeah. Uh, a lot of open airspace here for the queen. Something I could do to be tricky is, you know, this knight's defending this. So if I ever take the knight somehow, this pawn's undefended. So I'm just throwing that. Well, I'll, now it's doubly defended, but it's weaker, so... Just throwing that out there. Uh, with that being said, let's just defend all these pawns because, yeah, we've got a nice little pawn storm over here and <laughs> might as well leave them all defended, you know, even though we have a double isolated one. Like, the fact that every pawn here is defended is a good thing. So, okay, offering the queen trade, you know what, at this point, um, that's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, that is perfectly fine. So, and again, I probably could have done some checks and just been a little trickier with the queen, but nah, I don't really care, you know. So, hello. My, uh, oh, okay, okay, thank you. And after the end of all that chaos, this knight is free. So. Again, I, yeah, that night move, yeah, it really, like, it took a while for that to show up as a blunder or whatever, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying is, um, yeah, that night move right there really, uh, uh, yeah, that, the blocking of their own rook was, and I understand what they were trying to do. They already had the queen here. 
you just try to bring in other pieces to attack, but like, yeah, blocking off their own rook cost them the game. So, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, next game. That was, uh, hmm. I mean, they played pretty well all up until that point. It's just, uh, well, you know, what can I say, man? Yeah, mistakes do happen. This is a free pawn, by the way. I just want to throw that out there. I guess my pawn's free, too. <laughs> but we can just add a defender to it like this and then take this pawn. So, okay. And let's just go here. And, um, yeah. Okay. Free pawn. Seems pretty good. Okay, so they move that there. So with that being said, let's... We got our free pawn. Let's just get out of here, yeah. Relocate this knight all the way over here. And, uh, fine with me. Uh, queen move, huh? All right. Well, I'm going to probably castle. I mean, yeah, and yeah, why not? Um, yeah. Okay, castling pretty early. So there we go. Okay, and there goes that. I guess that does leave this uh, kind of fork opportunity here, but. That's fine. That's fine. Because what's nice is they actually can't take this knight because look at this. Uh, boom. So get the queen lined up with the king. That's usually a bad sign. And yeah, I don't know how you really stop that. But um. All right, I guess you can defend the queen with the pawn, but uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, yeah, it's just we got some free stuff. We started moving our stuff out of the way, castled. Whoops, blunder. <laughs> All right, next game. I, I don't know any other way to describe that game <laughs> other than what I just said. All right, best of luck to our opponent, uh, Rid Van Ozel. All right. And we will rid ourselves of this. I'll move here. Kind of pre-moving this. Yeah, because the bishop likes to be right here in a lot of these openings. But uh, okay, so we've got a fork. Potentially. <clears throat> Let's move this knight here. Next move. Fork. Salad. Lunch. Breakfast and more. Good move. Uh, makes my knight move. But um, let's just go here for now. I do have to keep an eye out. This knight is undefended. But actually, let's just go back for now, actually. Kind of a weird move. But I basically want to seal this pawn before I proceed any further. Also, you're going to very quickly start to notice. I'm going to start blocking off the light squares. So, for example, that right there, you know, a lot of light squares about to be blocked off. So. Let's move. Also, I see the threat here of just pure raw checkmate. But what we do is, yeah, you just lock it up. And then, you know, you just keep going. So. Good good try. Good try. They tried to do something pretty cool there. But, um, yep. Looks like we shut down the four move checkmate or whatever it's called. And now the game just kind of moves on. So. Also, this bishop can be attacked. I just want to throw that out there. Um, let's move. Let's just attack this pawn. Yeah, because it's literally just sitting here. So, there you go. Knight move. Your move. Also, also, this is a fork. I just realized that. So... Apparently, a very good counter to this opening is if you get your knight right here, they can't really do what they usually want to do. So, 
just keep that in mind, I guess. And yeah. Uh, let's see if they notice it. I don't even know if they will. Okay, looks like they did. But um, what do we do next? Well, we attack the pawn again somehow. Also, this is a fork right here. Wow. That is pretty interesting. Um, I'll definitely keep my eye out on that. And in fact, what I'm going to do, uh, let's move here. And if they take, we fork the queen and bishop. Somehow, wow. Um, now, how do I want to take back? I don't know. Maybe I'll fork them now? Let me think. Can my king be checked? I guess so. But but then they got to get the, the... Yeah, that's weird. Am I supposed to take back? You know what? I'll take back with the tempo on the queen. Just to be safe, yeah. Just to be safe. I, although I guess that stops the fork. So, maybe I should have forked right there. I don't know. But, um, that's all good. Let's just, uh, get the bishop out of here. Yeah, because I wasn't too sure where the game was going to go after that fork, but and that would have been interesting. Best to just play it safe. If you're not really sure about something tactically, again, there's another pawn fork here. Wow. Then, um, yeah. And just uh also this bishop is trapped. I just noticed. So yeah. Yeah, free bishop. Um but uh yeah. That's one of the dangers of moving like your queen out early. Let's look at all these tempos we got. And like basically we got all these moves for free. Um everything's kinda defended right now. The only thing not defended too well is this knight, but, you know, whatever. The best move for them actually right now is if you're going to lose the bishop anyway. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You either lock it up or you just... Actually, the best move would have been to put their bishop here and just kind of trade with the knight. <laughs> Call it a day. <laughs> At some point, you got to cut your losses. The interesting thing about this move is it stops them from going this way. You can't go through your own pieces. So, let's uh, both attack the queen. And get ready. We're actually subtly setting this move up. Yeah, so that's pretty interesting. Um, I guess I can go in here with the queen, but again, do I care? Not really, no. On what's funny about that move is that lets us develop our bishop. Yeah, okay. And so, yeah. All those queen moves, and now it's sitting back. And now this bishop is basically about to be trapped. So, yeah, I guess I'll let that be a lesson to you, you know. Be careful on all those queen moves, like, really early, because this is what happens, or what can happen, you know. So, I guess the bishop has a retreat square right there, but even still, that's not really where you want your bishop to be. Um. So, yeah. Let's see here. Knight has to move. Um... Let's go, yeah, let's have this knight defend some stuff. I mean, because this pawn is just kind of sitting here. Uh, let's have the knight defend that, and as well as some other squares we got here. So, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Another thing I like about this pawn move is it allows us to on passant potentially later in the future, as well as completing the pawn chain. So I think for the next move, I need to move this bishop somewhere. Castle time. So okay, that's interesting. <laughs> pawn actually can't take because it's pinned. That's really funny. Um. But, uh, yeah, I think what we do is just, uh, let's see, let's just do what I said, let's move here, and then we castle, and then take back that pawn, you know, whenever we want. Also, something we could do is just say, hey, what are you going to do about this? Free bishop, I mean, yeah, you can take that all you want, but I get a bishop, so... You know, what's up with that? 
I mean, I, I get the pressure, quote unquote, this move provides. But um, yeah, another thing we could do is just push by. Because that knight's defending. So again, not really a threat. Also, this pawn's undefended now. So, you know, just throwing that out there. Free pawn. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're attacking this pawn. Again, this pawn is free, so let's just uh, go ahead and grab it. One interesting thing I will say is that them taking this pawn, I guess it does let their bishop back in the game, so I don't want to do it, but it does make this file half open, which is not something I want to ignore. That's actually pretty important. So again, trading helps them. Don't do it. So we will move right here and the game goes on. So. Again, but like, look at all their pieces stuck on the back. Like, and like, where's the knight going to go? Normally it wants to go here. I mean, I guess it can go here, but yeah, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Okay, pinning the knight, that doesn't really matter. Because now it's time for the counter pin, and next move, castle, yeah. Yeah, I don't, uh, hmm. Also, this pawn blunts their own queen. So, <laughs> yeah, pretty funny. Pretty funny, man. All right, there goes the knight. Um, this bishop isn't really doing anything. So, also, where can this knight go? It can't go here or here. It can't go on top of your own piece, so... I don't know what that move is all about, but uh, one thing I will do is castle. Oh, there we go. All right, pretty wild game, honestly. I guess one advantage they can do is they have a discovered attack with this pawn, but uh, I don't even know that they'll see it, man. Uh, let's... Interesting. I guess we could trade that knight. Yeah, it could come in here and just kind of be annoying. Also, also, I guess I could attack this bishop. Um, But the bishop's not really doing anything right now. So, hmm. Let's... Let's move this knight. Because it this bishop is undefended. So let's move this knight right here where it is defended by the other bishop. So let's do that. <coughs> Don't know if they'll see this or not, but um, we're going for a free piece. Well, I guess it's not free. It's defended by that knight, but we're just seeing some. Actually, I guess it is free if I do it right. <laughs> so, all right. Yeah, 
Yeah, and this is where tactics start to help you because see, tactically, how you're supposed to do this is obviously, oh, you like I said, it's, it's quote unquote free. Well, it's not really free, but the way you do it is you take the knight out of the equation. They take back with the pawn, and then you take the bishop on the uh, the fallout. So pretty interesting. Ooh, and they did not see that. So looking pretty good for us. They castle finally as well. So. Take the knight, and that's really bad for them because this pawn, if it's not lined up with the king, um, there's some wild stuff that can happen. Now, I'll probably take the free bishop just because it's a free bishop, but uh, wow. Yeah, so also, there's a fork here with these two. You really got to be careful of. Um, oh, interesting. So they took the bishop. I mean, they took that. Okay. Well, still, this still works tactically for us because what we do is... Wow, can I just hop the knight in here and just wreak some havoc? What in the world? I guess it is defended. So... Okay. Uh, what we can do here is pretty obvious. Um... Yeah, we just say, hey, give me this. <laughs> so there's that. And then I guess they can take the bishop at the end. But a yeah, really interesting series of moves. Um, Yeah. Because now, look, look, we can literally move our queen right here. Start checking, like, all kind of stuff, man. Not a good for them, that's for sure. Um... Let's let's move this rook into the game. So let's move right here. Next move, I'm literally just going to throw this pawn in and see what happens. Okay, so that pawn moves, but that's a free pawn. So now does it step into a knight fork? Maybe, but right there, right there. Let's just take the free pawn, because the free pawn's the free pawn. Ooh, wait. Oh, right, the discovered attack, right. All right, that's not a problem. Um, Yeah, that's been there the whole game, so let's just slide the king and, you know, not a big deal, honestly. So, but yeah. Next move for us, free pawn. Also, I'm going to make moves quicker now. We're getting low on times. Pay attention. Okay. And free pawn for us. Oh, I guess that knight was free in the exchange there, but that's all good. Uh, Yeah, let's just take this pawn. And defend this knight, I guess. That's... Okay, so they got two rooks. They, we got... Yeah, so it's basically... They're up a big piece, though. But we should be able to do some cool... Stuff here. All right, and what we want to do here is simply uh, move this pawn because actually, we don't. What we want to do is move this knight. No, we don't. Let's move this rook right here. Actually, yeah, that's actually a pretty solid move. And it should force the rook trade. I mean, if they don't, I about to say, if they don't, yeah, you can just kind of double up rooks. So, all right. Okay, and here we attack, yeah, because see, that's what I saw, is like on this diagonal, it's lined up with the, the queen, so, yeah. Attack the queen.
Okay. Fish goes back. Smart move. Um, or is it? Hang on. Let's do a little deception here. Move that. And we may get a fork right here. If we just forfeit this pawn. They actually can't take this pawn. Because what they have to do. They better get out of the way. Because if they don't. Ooh. We got them. So here we go. Um, yeah. So here's the thing. Is. Okay, so all I need to do is add a defender right here. Okay. And next move, ooh, good fork by them. But let's go right here. And they actually can't take the pawn. Oh, also the king's in check. I just want to throw that out there. So yeah, they actually can't take the pawn. Ooh, and I blundered the queen there. I don't know if they'll see that, but that's a blunder. Yeah, they did see it. Okay. Well, in that case, I don't know. Move here. <clears throat> we'll try to just win on time, I guess. Yep, so quick. Pick moves. Okay. Let's just attack stuff. There we go. And we'll try to make quick, precise move. Okay. They're low on time too, so. Right. There we go. Oh, I was pinned right there. All right. Too bad. Uh, okay. All right, new game. <coughs> well, that's a weird move. Uh, let's just move right here. Okay, and this gets pretty straightforward, so let's just move. Sure. Pretty easy, yeah. The same usual checkmate stuff. Great. And from here, we just attack the queen for free or whatever. Uh, let's attack the bishop, actually. Already, they don't care. I guess that is a checkmate just straight up, so <clears throat> we gotta deal with that. Now they're both being attacked, so. Okay. Again, going for the same checkmate, just a different way. So let's move right there. Now we're double attacking the knight and the queen. Thank you. Yeah, right here. All right, so Bishop's still under attack. I guess that's a move, yeah. But it's not a good one, so.
between move, lining up here and here. I guess there is like a rook attack you can do a little later. So out of an abundance of caution, wait, what am I saying? Let's just take this bishop. Yeah, <laughs> I guess they didn't see that one. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, next few moves, queen move, castle. Okay, so they castle. Um, yeah, let's just do the same. So let's uh, castle, put this here, and then next move we will castle. So, you know. I guess I could have moved the queen here, attacked the queen again, but it's fine. <laughs> hmm. Okay, they moved the knight. Um, all right, I guess this pawn is undefended. All right, no, it's not. Okay, that uh, that's fine. Actually, move here. Interesting move. Um, let's move back here. All right. Pretty clear threat there. So go like that. Okay, and we've got the queen here, so pretty easy for it to deal with. Okay, wow. So what we want to do here is three pawns. More importantly, the uh, knight can't go anywhere, so knight, pretty good to me. Hmm, okay. Um, 
Yeah, I don't, uh, fine. Ooh, the knight's actually defended, huh? By their queen, that's interesting. In that case, I just need to attack the knight with something. Let's get rid of this pawn in the corner here. Also, I guess this pawn is free as well. Let's just take this one. Okay, and the threat here is clear. The rook is lined up, so... Just... Here. I guess they do get control of the file, which... Is a little concerning, but, you know. <laughs> Not really. <sighs> Clever move. <sighs> Clever move attacks the queen, but not really because now the knight's undefended. So, whoops. And from here, we just snowball. So, yeah, whoops. That's unfortunate. <sighs> Mo B T Z. Hmm. Interesting move. <laughs> and now, what's weird about that move? Now it gives us the chance to control the files. So, pretty weird series of moves by white here, but uh, I'm not saying that's a bad move. I am saying the hell. So, yeah. Okay, so there's finally a queen move. I guess we do have to watch out here because, like, things can get a little wild. Um... Let's move the knight here. Let's see if we can be tricky. Let's see if they'll take the bait. Which I don't know why they would. It's defended three times. But still, let's let's see if they take the bait and just say, oh, hey, it's a free knight. No problem, it's free. <laughs> okay, okay. Didn't think they actually would, but uh, yeah. Uh, with that being said, let's go right here. I guess with the queen, they could just kind of come in here and, well, I guess not anymore. I kind of blocked this move off, this move exactly, so that's kind of nice. Also, also, why didn't I just move this pawn and attack this? I don't know, but uh, I kind of like that I defended this first, honestly. <laughs> okay, <sighs> pawn move. I think what we'll do here is pretty obvious. Yeah, let's just treat the bishop. Well, no, let's move here. And basically what we're saying is, hey, I'm giving this move for free. Like, you can take my bishop and my pawn. You want to lose your queen, I guess. The queen's got to get out of jail. So, okay, that doesn't really change anything. Okay. <laughs> All right. I guess, yeah, I guess it did change something. You could get that pawn for free. Not bad, but now we can get this pawn for free. So, worth it? Yeah, yeah, I'd say it was worth it. So, there we go. All right, and then they'll take this pawn for free. So, overall, we just kind of clear out the left side, which I would say is probably better for us, honestly, than, uh, than for um, white. So, with all that being said, I will move this bishop. Where does it have defense? Well, anywhere really. But I'll put it just kind of right here. Yeah, because it defends this uh, rook. 
So one thing I do want to mention is that, uh, yeah, the this rook is lined up with the king. Hmm. Interesting, I say. Interesting. Um, let's move our queen back because, uh, yeah, I've got something interesting planned. Hmm. Well, let's just move back to right here. Let's start attacking this queen. Also, this queen's undefended, so let's just start attacking it a bit. See how white responds. Also, we're, we're way ahead on materials, so... You know, throwing that out there. <coughs> we can afford to blunder, like, once or twice, honestly. Not that big of a deal. Also, also, this king is really undefended. But I think relocating the queen is a good start. And yeah, the queen's defended from this pawn. Yeah. <sighs> I take a lot of time. Okay. All right, so they quote unquote defend the queen with that, but uh, it's not actually defended because, yeah, all we have to do is add another attacker and not looking good. So let's go here. Let's create a dual threat. Let's go here. And basically, we're saying, yeah, what are you going to do about it? I'm just going to take your pawn. My knight. Or I'm just going to take your queen straight up. You know. Okay, so they accept the trade. I think we will take this. And then we'll put pressure on this pawn. Yeah, that pawn's not going to make it. Uh, nice snowing you. Let's get this bishop out. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and let's go ahead and start um, activating our king up here. This pawn's really far advanced, so pretty good. Okay, go here. All right, and brick trade, is there a better move? Yeah, I don't know, but... At this point, I'm cool with just trading. Um, let's go here. This pawn's isolated, so it's always a very easy target. So you just take it, and again, again, it's way over here. What are they going to do about it? So move this up too, and then we just uh, start attacking some stuff. Making this pawn move. Basically, the knight's only here to make them run out of moves. So, <laughs> okay, then we just move this pawn up. Okay, that one's out of moves. So, The one piece I'm keeping an eye out over here. Ooh, good move for us. Uh, yeah, let's move right here. <coughs> they just let us get a queen, basically. Yeah, the one move that looks good for us that I'm really keeping an eye on is, uh, yeah, this pawn down here. You know, I could easily miss it just kind of going all the way to the corner. So I uh, might have missed a knight fork somewhere, but it's fine. Uh, anyway. Okay, smart move. Uh, do I care? Not really. I guess he can go right here, take the bishop, but I'm just going to fly the bishop to the other side of the board. So, also, yeah, this is just a free pawn. So, boink. Okay, and they can't move that anymore, so, boom. All right, GG. And, yeah, that's cute and all, but, you know. 
All right. So, and we get the queen. So there we go. All right. Yeah, and this bishop's just playing spy ball, so can't ever. Oh, clever, huh? Ooh, did I accidentally? Oh, no, I did not. Okay. Take it. There we go. Nice. And then we move all the way back. All right. And we get another queen. And now we just go here. So pretty clear what was going to happen there. Yeah, we just kind of boxed him out on the right side. Got a queen at the end there, and pretty clear. Um, not too much to talk about. Well, that is one thing I'll talk about in that one. A lot of early queen moves, like early, 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 and you see it really didn't pay off because they were so behind on development at the end. So, eh, anyway. Oh, wow. Yeah, no mistakes, no blunders, no misses. Okay. You say so, game. All right, but uh, anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for me tonight. Let's see who all is streaming here, man. Um, yeah, Rokabiak is. Um, I think we'll just end stream clean and call it good. All right, guys, well, appreciate you joining me, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Have a good day.